we've had like a five minute argument about I said what's the point in meleeing on P1 because we're just gonna wait for the specs anyway. Rakesy yeah. starts like trying to the boss and then he dies to filler phase. <laughs> and it's just <laughs> and it's just quality. Oh my god, like, oh my god. it's, it's just perfect. Welcome to the old school RuneScape podcast. I'm Mitt May Cow. What is going on, boys? Rakesy's always. And hello, it's me, Race Club. So today we are joined by this. This abomination of a man. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I was yeah. getting the neck ready for you, bro. I was that getting means. it ready. Dude, his forehead was not getting covered by the webcam. That thing was shooting up, bro. You see that? <laughs> man, I wish I wish there was a way I knew how to like squeeze this webcam and make your neck just like straight up. That'd be great. So yeah, um, we're gonna be talking a bit mm. about Fresh Start Worlds because it's pretty much all we've all been doing, minus re. And um, yeah, I'm 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 just an outcast today. That's okay. That's no problem. Um, so like we were saying before we started recording, right? Something I'm interested in, and I I, I feel like I have a bit more of a, an understanding of this than other people. Solo mission. I want to know what exactly your strat, your plan is, and like how did you start Fresh Start Worlds? Because, like I said, I know more than probably the average person but i feel like people that watch your videos they don't fully understand like all the accounts you're playing in the background so like tell us all about it man let's hear it well the, the start of fresh start yes well fresh fresh start for me actually started before fresh start uh <laughs> as he tweeted out do you remember on day one so makes made a tweet which was imagine clicking around before fresh start starts on tutorial island and you right click and see solar missions already level five. <laughs> uh, so, so before it even so before it even started, I trained up all my stats to level three on tutorial island. I, so mate, I, was, I knew I was pretty sweaty. I knew you were gonna do something like that, but I didn't think you would be so sweaty to just Bro, it's it's like nothing. Like that advantage in the grand scheme of <laughs> things is nah, it's, it's a, nothing. It's the total levels. It's oh, the rank mate. one, baby. Oh, of rank course. One straight of away. course. I, <laughs> dude, I had a feeling you were going to do that because what was it? For the group Iron Man release, I remember everybody did rune arrows from last month's standing because it was just the strat, right. right? And I will say, I will give you credit where credit's due. You, you had a hell of a big brain for that because at the time, there was like, I think it was a, it was a case of your account, your account had to have 48 hours or two in-game logged in game time in order to access the rewards from the lms shop so this dude literally stood afk on an account like on tutorial island wait so that, that counts yes it counted yeah, it what can't... you have to be Yo. you have to be a member though so like yeah, there's a few of us which did it yeah you could just stand okay. there for like 48 yeah. hours before the mode i think even i remember released. that Yo, so, so, so <laughs> how long does it take the plan good your plan out like before we even get to the plan like how do you put like a week of your time into it uh, two weeks you have like a big board in the back you got like fucking arrows and shit it's on his head well to, to be yeah to be fair like this time by now i've played like so many leagues dead mans all the rest of things so like most things just come naturally but you guys are gonna call me a talent. sweat for He's this just I, I, I already know you guys are about to roast me I actually played through 16 hours on a new account before Fresh Start even came out just to like practice the first day. Damn, Bruh. that's how he does it, man. That's the secret. I just have Take only notes. respect for that, honestly. Hey, to be fair, I actually, I did something a little bit similar. Uh, and I, I didn't bother showing this in the video. I had recordings for it, but in the end, I didn't put it in. So I tested out, just before Fresh Start Worlds came out and like during the same time, they had Beta Worlds. Where you could go on and test the PvP oh, weapons yeah, and stuff. That's why I was doing it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So I, I did that as well, and I like reduced my levels to like a newbie, you know, uh, forty range or something, and put a bone crossbow on it. I had to go and get one in the uh, Dorgashan mines <laughs> just to test out which revenants I could kill at what level, so I'd know like when to progress. Because I did watch. I, I can't remember who it was. I was watching somebody's, somebody's uh, Fresh Start World video, and they were trying to kill Pyre Fiends. At like a super low level when i was watching i was like there's no way they're gonna kill that fire feed like that thing's yeah. a tank man but yeah that's yeah that's uh yeah it to the i actually level. did the same i did um i did a toa on the beta world with the stats i thought i'd have and it was by the time i did it in fresh Die, it was pretty similar gear and stats by then so yeah man I think... the, the, the week before it i just i don't know i i didn't have any videos i was working on so yeah. i may as well just 
just prepare a bit, you know. See, I was I was working on these bot busting videos the week before, so <clears throat> I dude, this is this is a question for you, man, because I know that you often wait for content to come out. Like for me personally, like, and I think Rice Cup's very similar, and I think Mint is as well. Like, I'll talk to myself, talk for myself, but like, I have to be grinding on something. If I'm not working towards something, like if I'm not working actively in making a new video, like in game doing something, I just don't feel right, right? Whereas I, I feel like with you, like you're happy to just be like, oh yeah, Fresh Start Worlds is out in three weeks. I'll just, I'll just wait for it to, for it to cover, then I'll just smash it out. So like, what is, what is your like full process there, mate? Like, how do you deal with that? I don't know, because I always have stuff to do. Like, basically everything, yeah, everything does revolve around videos. So quest speed running, for example, I, I was just practicing the speed run so I could just smash it out all on day one. Fresh start, bit of planning, just like, sometimes I make my thumbnails before before the um, the new se that's season smart. drops, or whatever it is. Yeah, that's Just smart. to save time, because a lot a lot of the, the, um, the struggle I have, right, is... I normally upload on the very first day and then I won't sleep. I'll just stay awake. So like if anyone knows how that is to be completely sleep deprived on the second day, yeah. like when you're commentating stuff and things, you, you just want as much, as many things done for you already. So yeah, you got just preparing it. stuff like that. Mm. And yeah. How and sometimes, you, I'm, sometimes I'm just working on long-term videos. When you're already rank one, right? <laughs> and then your thumbnail says rank one. How the hell are you going to prepare the rank one thumbnail the day before you just know you're going to get it. You just... Well, that's, that's, that's an easy thumbnail to make though. You just screen grab it. But like, is that why you like... do it? Just easy thumbnail. You're like, I'm going to get rank one. So I got the best thumbnail. Right <laughs> that's all that matters. I mean, video, it's not, you know? it's, <laughs> it's, far, it's far the reason why to go for it. So like, like my, my first thumbnail, I made that beforehand. I'm looking at them now. I think I made the fourth one as well. Maybe even the fifth one. Yeah. yeah. So, so like I, I, I did some stuff mm -hmm. beforehand. I mean, not saying that my thumbnails are amazing. Like, if anyone zooms in on my shit, like, I've got the spray can, like, doing a madness. <laughs> <laughs> so there's so much, like, horrible stuff going on. It feels like any graphics pros out there. But I, I quite like doing them myself, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah honestly, thing. though, it's not even, like, necessarily about the, the quality of the thumbnail. It's more about your punctuality, right? I think that's your weapon, you know, is, is how you're able to, whenever a new update comes out, you're able to release something involving that update but at a good quality like a gameplay wise you're you know you you can actually carry that because like you're rank one already and then you you already put it on day one so it's like holy shit this guy's already rank one day one like who cares about how fancy you know the thumbnail mm -hmm. looks right it says rank one and he's you know it's already on the first day so it's like you gotta click it you know things like that yeah right? you're just yeah. Yeah, your pre-planning is 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 really smart though, because like, how else are you gonna be the first to do it, right? Because like, you don't have time to do all that crap mid grind, right? Like half of that stuff yeah. you already want to sort it out. Dude, I and, I don't know. I yeah, I feel like that's like a powerful combination is very powerful marketing. I, I think we spoke a lot leading Thank up you. to Fresh Start Worlds, and I I just got the impression <laughs> from you that you were just like lazing around all day in your bathrobe just like <laughs> fucking what? painting your nails and doing nothing like you i remember one day you were like i was mm. what were we talking about you were like oh i'm just testing if music's gonna get copywritten uh on my youtube yeah, that's, that all takes time that Bro, takes so, that that takes so much time oh, holy dude. shit that does take a lot you don't know the amount of like shitty soundcloud rappers i have to listen to before i find <laughs> something good and then you find something good and, and like i upload it unlisted i'm like is this gonna get like, copyright, copyright claimed and, it, and I'm like, this is a banger. This is so uh, claimed Bro, all the time. I'm not even going to yeah, lie, mate. So you do that all the time then. You do that all the time. Just yeah, that, 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 like, that, takes, that takes a lot of time. So just stuff like that, like preparation stuff. Like when, when I do my shopping, right, I, I just like get SoundCloud Let's... up and I just, I just let it run. And Damn, run. it's actually a, yeah, it's a, it's a daily yeah. flow process. But like the thing is, your progression is, is a lot to do with the video itself, right? Rather than like, you know, you don't need to always be playing the game on a daily basis per se but like you know some mm. you, know, you gotta do your editing you gotta check for copyrights you gotta pre-plan ideas I, I, all that is work too you know that's that's definitely work oh yeah just a different yeah. kind and of flow for you know yeah i say i watch a lot of runescape stuff as well just to see what people are research. interested in yeah. market yeah. research you, yeah. know, you know it baby. man i i will say yeah. i i watched your missions master marketer bro i watched mm. your video earlier today downstairs on the tv which is that doesn't happen very oh, often that, that's a compliment yeah that <laughs> that doesn't because i i saw the thumbnail and i was like fuck i was like so he gets his inferno cape i'm like is this the video Damn. where we go to tob so i, I clicked on it 
And I'll, I'll tell you this, mate. My girlfriend, like when when your little intro sounds come on, like your songs, your trendy SoundCloud rappers, she started dancing, dude. Like she liked no it. Way. So that's a good sign, man. Like you're hitting my my girlfriend's, like you know, like you're in that. What's it called? Like, uh, I don't even fucking know what's the word for it, dude. Like that algorithm. I don't know. You're hitting yeah. that. You're hitting that, dude. If like, it's my, like, my, yeah, like yeah. TikTok remixes and shit. Yeah, literally. I was just, I was just like, oh my god, oh my. But, and also, I, I want to say, no way, your girlfriend's dancing while I'm just roasting the fuck out of you on the video. That's, crazy. <laughs> That's <laughs> after, right? mate. I'll, after I'll, I'll be honest with you, mate. Like straight up, she danced your intro. She liked the sound. And then as soon as you started talking, like she went straight into the kitchen and started doing something. <laughs> she did not want to hear your voice, man. I was like, she's a smart girl. No, I, I mean, yeah, it's crazy though. The the it's like the what is it like the UK? It's like rap, right? Kind of ish. I don't know. Yeah, I, like I thought loads of random shit in there, but I guess yeah. maybe it is a bit more UK centric. Yeah, I, I don't yeah, know. I, yeah, I, I, yeah, I've noticed that. I can't tell. But like, it works saying. though, right? Because like a lot of a predominant amount of players are are from the UK because it's where it's based. So yeah. is that why you do it, or do you just enjoy well, the music? I you just like, like it. it. I, like, I, yeah. I genuinely just like like the music, it's and good. I think it's just it's just a bit of a different, and it makes like it gets things a bit like hype and stuff like that. Yeah, where yeah. did the idea come from? Oh, like the idea to like look through. Yeah, SoundCloud what what, what YouTuber did you steal that idea from, mate? That's what we're, we want to know. <laughs> What's this, Rich? Rich, you, you asked that because I, you know the answer. <laughs> <laughs> I took heavy inspiration from if I, everyone. People might know this: the Zach and Jay show. They make like IRL videos of like quirky oh. ideas and stuff like that. So that they, 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 I've actually stolen a decent amount of their music, but <laughs> not so much anymore because they, they don't really upload that much anymore. So, oh, yeah, I've, cool. I've, I've, I've got my own library now. He incorporated <laughs> it into a RuneScape style, you know, update progress video, you know. That's cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like I, it's like I, your own I, thing. I now, for sure. <laughs> yeah, and also a lot of the times I just slap the music over some quick bits because I can't be fucked to like clip like <laughs> cut up yeah. the end and edit it. I'm just like, oh, just get this done, <laughs> man. Hey, but dude, honestly, like, big respect though for like the hustle, especially on like the first few days, because I I think for this fresh start worlds, this is like probably the hardest i've gone on like a, a game mode and i think it's because i actually went into this with a plan like i had an idea of what i was going to do i did some pre pre-planning to this i had like some scripts written out and stuff like that and like doing it makes you know what you're saying makes a lot of sense i remember you saying to me one time you were <laughs> like if you want to do it successfully you have to edit while you play and i was just like mate i can't imagine anything worse than like editing <laughs> and playing at the same time even but you're right. There's a lot of truth in that. Like you actually have to do this. It's like if you want your video to go from being good to like exceptional, and I'm I'm referring to your videos, by the way. Just just so we know, I'm talking about you. Um, I, I think that it's those little details and those like the extra steps you take that really really help. Like just push that video, you know. But yeah. Anyways, to go back. So tell us what what is your process, dude? Like, tell us about your multiple accounts. I mean, I joked earlier saying that you have like a craft or a smith or a fletching account. You you basically have <laughs> you you basically play fresh start worlds and everything with like an army of all accounts that are just playing the game while you're focusing on one thing on your main account, which is usually combat. Right? Tell us what yeah. what is the secret to this? So for this fresh start world, so. But I mean, I, I guess everyone knows what fresh start is, right? Everyone starts from scratch. It's just the same as RootScape. It's one times experience. But that means everything was like super slow this time around. So it was quite hard to anticipate how the economy was going to go. And I think a lot of people really underestimated how difficult it would be to get gold in the in the game, uh -huh. like just from like pyramid or anything like that. Because like, people are so used to dead man, right? And ten times XP, you can just go to pyramid and start like churning out two hundred Ks. And that really reflected in the swap for it. Like, I, I, I wasn't doing any swapping, but I was just keeping track of it in the first like day. And um, the econ the economy was very slow. That's that's one thing which was like a spanner in the works. Like I thought I'd have energy pots and all this sort of stuff <laughs> like to use to, to use on day one. And like in my plan, I, I'll have like. I think I had a line like, buy a thousand nature runes. And I'm like, I've got a fucking 10k. I can't, I can't, I can't do that right now. <laughs> <laughs> there, there, was, there was really nothing in the game. So like, 
but the, the most probably can't think. I mean, on the very first day, like having four accounts doing the stronghold for 10k, that's 40k. That that like yeah. <laughs> set, that set me up, yeah, honestly. Yeah. Um, I remember you telling then, me that, and I, at the time when you told me that, I was like, this fucking guy. I was like, you're you getting 40k. <laughs> for, I was that's like, he huge. is. It was so worth it. It made a massive yeah, difference. It's like he yeah. is paying to win. I remember there was a part in my <laughs> part in my brain where I was picking silk on my alt account, thinking that motherfucker is like 20k <laughs> coins ahead of me just because he paid for two more accounts to have members. I was like, man. I can't that's, believe you yeah. did the silk. Like, that's some dedication. Every I time, bro, to. it's his favorite yeah, place. I was gonna Mate. say, shut up. Mm. Mid this, right, right, right. This, this is this is the <laughs> thing, right? Solo mission. I, I'm gonna tell you this. So you just probably struck a nerve. You hit home with Mint a minute ago when you're talking about. No, the no, 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 no. Hey, hey, we're talking about your silk. All right, don't bring my <laughs> horrendous <laughs> planning into the hey, mix here. <laughs> listen, listen, dude. Talking of planning, I actually like a dead ass. I had a fucking silk notepad. Mm. Where I figured no out, way. I de I dead ass man. I figured out how much silk I had to pick to get 100k, how many silk I could get per hour, and then how long it would take me to then sell it and get from to and from the bank and so forth, right? And then I, I, I this was at the point when I was gonna do it on one account. I was gonna do it on one account, and then I was like, if I actually do this on the account that I'm trying to progress, it's gonna put me behind. Like I, I think it was like five hours. It would take five hours to get enough silk for 100k. And I was like, at that point, I was like, mate, Solo Mission's playing on four different alt accounts. I'm like, fuck it. I'm making an alt. I'm going to just pick Silk on it. And then yeah. I'm just going to like, that's how I'm going to do it. But it was a it was a genuine strat. Hey, tell me that Silk's a bad idea in a fresh economy with one times XP. It is genuinely such a good idea. It's guaranteed money in an economy which fair. has no GP. Yeah, to be fair, when you were doing it, the swap rate was probably like one to a thousand. So you're probably making like like seven mil or seven per hour or something. Yeah. That's the crazy dude, thing. There, there were all these hustlers. I, I love it because it's like fresh economy. It reminded me of like the olden days of RuneScape where there was some some dude stood there at the silk store that was like buying an inventory of silk for 1.4k. Or like 1.2k, right? <laughs> Stuff like that. Oh, like, he's like a middleman for the Yeah, sort. yeah, it's yeah. Like... People, people were doing oh, that. Yeah, people did that. Yeah. I love to see it, man. Because some people, honestly, like, well, I did it for five hours on my alt account, like just solid clicking while I was questing and everything on my main account. Dude, some people were dropping their silk. They didn't know what they were. Man, they were dropping silk. I was like, oh shit! Like spam click that easy 1k. Let's go. One one man's trash is another man's treasure. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> Yo, Tom, I know I give you a lot of shit for silk, but I gotta say your day one strats on Fresh Start made me so jealous. This man was an imp so early on. He had like 500 k cash. I'm sitting there trying to get into Rev Caves, doing agility pyramid, just losing my mind. About Ten <laughs> oh hours in, he comes in my stream. He's like, "Hey, what's up, bro?" Like, hey, what's up, man? How's it going? Just want to hit revs. Oh, yeah, I've been here for like five hours. Yeah, I got like four mil. I, oh, mate, he was just, dude, little, he was flexor. having so much fun in my chat, bro. Me. Yeah, dude, I felt <laughs> like such a bad RuneScape player day one fresh start, dude. And right, he's just fucking roasting me in my Twitch <laughs> chat. Like, oh, yeah, do another agility pyramid lap, bro, as I fall down <laughs> all the way. Oh, dude, pain, I, I'm not even kidding, right? So Mint was doing agility pyramid on his account. And I, mate, it was painful to watch just because I think you were doing a lap. Each lap was taking you over 30 minutes. Like, easily. The amount he was falling was just ridiculous. And at that point, at that point in time, I think he had, like, 10k in his inventory. And I had already been killing Revenants for, I think it was eight hours. It was like six you see or, how deeply six or he remembers every detail? That's how much he enjoyed this shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He was here for eight hours. Him so fuck him. Dude. Like, he remembered every... He kept falling. Like, bro. He was loving I, that. I, I counted was... the times he fell. It was 10,000. I, I thought... I genuinely found it hilarious. But at the same time, I, I was more than fucking happy to hook you up. Like, I would have... If you wanted it, I would have I'd have been there, man. Bro, you know? he would have given you 20% of his silk. Dude, yeah. I was just glad you were doing incredibly well while I was <laughs> all I'm saying is next fresh start dude, I'm gonna have an actual plan. The reason my plan went really badly is because I completely forgot about the hundred K def or the hundred K tax at revs. I was trying to go yeah. in there. I was like, All right, time to make money. Click. What? 
<laughs> like, <laughs> dude, there was it was so hard to make money. I was like, all right, agility time. This is the worst. Thing. Yeah, <laughs> it is. Yeah, Jody, it, Jody's it really actually slow. was. Yeah. It was Jody's really slow at one X. So. <laughs> Yeah, and I didn't. Um, yeah. I didn't have an alt either, but I think I'm gonna get an alt next time, yeah. dude. I might do. Honestly, I really like a racing just, series. Bro, I may have make... to do something like that and challenge myself. Maybe like a road to one bill swap or something. Or, or Yo, just to make swap. like 10, 10 accounts and uh, do uh, the security stronghold hundred k. Boom. <laughs> you could. <laughs> Mate, you got. You got to pay like a hundred I mean, bucks hey, for that. <laughs> that's like... the craziest star, right? You you know, like like Soul Mission really hacked it. You know, he already kind of knew. Like, all right, dude, this is definitely no better way to do this. You know, like insta forty k so... right there, right? Like next fresh start, you're gonna disable. You're gonna compete bro. with that, right? You gotta make it a just, thing. Just play, bro. Just play at at his own game, bro. You know, you guys all have to do it. <laughs> I mean, I would you know who the real winner is? Jagex, uh, bro, with all that membership. Yeah. yeah oh my dude, god, about you, that. I've only just cancelled my fucking subscription for my five group I am on account. It's been like a oh, year. No. They've, they've actually rinsed me so hard on that one. Yeah, Yo, you got a ton of Jagex. That, that's hey, hey, that's yo, one, one that. for the business expenses, yeah. <laughs> number one donor, yeah, bro. Yeah. Oh, that's oh, amazing. Man. So, You're, yeah. How many alt yeah, accounts yeah. did you actually have for Fresh Star Worlds? Like, how many accounts? I was, I was playing on four, so I had an, I had a main, and then I had one which literally never left the Grand Exchange. Because one, one thing as well, like, the Fresh Economy is really interesting, and because there weren't actually that many people playing, like, there was like no liquidity, so the margins you could make on some of these things is just crazy. I didn't really show much of the flipping in the videos because. I feel like people don't really engage with that that well compared to like you going out and getting something for yourself and then selling it. I feel like people don't really want to watch people just yeah. mess around with the market as much. Um, but uh, and as well, having more accounts, more grand exchange slots, like holy shit, that helps so much. Um, but a lot, a lot of the planning process went into trying to anticipate where the economy would be at at certain points. So one thing I noticed. Uh, for my day one plan, I wanted to do Monkey Madness, right? And I wanted to get the prayer. And I was like, I just don't think many people are going to be killing these dragons because green dragons, you can't mage them at like low levels. The range is really slow to train. I was like, I'm probably just going to have to get the bones myself. So I was getting the bones myself on two of the accounts on the first day. So uh, that's what, pretty what much with, all they were doing. With bone cross, so just fi fi no fire striking blue dragons. Like wow. <laughs> it was oh so my... slow. Like they were basically wow. doing that the whole time. For the first Jeez. day, but yeah, like that, yeah. that got me my prayer and and stuff like that. Yeah, that forty k went to that then, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and as well, another thing is like if you're collecting items on the at the very start, no one has the GP to buy them in the Grand Exchange, so it's just you're almost a bit of an Iron Man at that point because there's not yeah the economy is it was so slow and to be honest, I I expected a lot more people to play than actually there actually was. Like I know, I know it had a lot of negative reception, but when it first came out, I was like, "Shit, this is this is like low population numbers," and it's weird mm -hmm. because Fresh Start's actually grown over the weeks it's been out. The players, the player, the, 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 the player count's actually been getting higher and higher, which is I didn't really expect. Yeah, but it's it's, it's an interesting thing. Hundred percent. I think the very next good point. point. Yo, um, I think sorry, Rice. Yeah. Um, yeah. I just want to say as as a good point because I remember I was playing day one. And I didn't start on the release. That's how bad I didn't have a plan. I didn't even know when it was starting. I just woke up like, all right, we're going in. I got some sleep. I'm like, dude, is that 60 players on one world four hours in? What? Like, because compared to other game modes, even though it's not very comparable because they have multiple XP, there's thousands. There's max servers on, like, leagues or dead man mode. There's 60 players, bro. On, like, the day one fresh start to, like, 40. I think some got to 20. It was almost mimicking those um, PvP arena worlds. I, I clicked on them because they had the same fucking view count. It was like zero. And now I'm playing. There's like five to six hundred people on each server. And I'm like, what? Yeah. Happened? What do you guys think actually happened? Is it all the content creation? People are like, dude, I love a fresh economy on RuneScape. These people are making videos. I got to try it. Or did it just catch on? Is their plan working? I personally I think, think so. I, I think I that think content. So. I, I think, think content so. creators had a massive role to play. I, 
<laughs> well, let me interject. I think it was Jagex sponsoring me. Had a massive, massive impact, and they got great value for money. Yo, they next time you get sponsored, this let us know, dude. <laughs> Where are you at, bro? Yo. One last thing to yeah. add on here is I kind of see um, RuneScape kind of like Minecraft it, community-wise, right? Um, when Minecraft first came out, the only reason it caught on fire was there was these content creators that came out and made like a let's play or a story like the Yox cast, you know, just in case y'all have some background knowledge of that and they mm -hmm. built upon it. And now there's so many different series for Minecraft. Like the game itself was good, but people built upon it to create a community. And I, th I think RuneScape coming out, we had progress videos. Now we got like one chunk, man, one tile, man, Swampletics, Road to One Bill. I mean, you couldn't step one foot into YouTube without finding a random RuneScape series that, you know, it's probably has a big following and gets people into RuneScape. Uh, it'd be, you know, really cool to see Jagex kind of take that information and build, you know, a bigger community on top of that, including esports. But yeah, uh, definitely mm -hmm. want to yeah, touch well, back on Fresh know. Start. Though. Actually, Maybe, you know, I'm not should focus on this first before they do esports because, like, esports is just fundamentally not within the capabilities of many of us content creators right i feel like only if you're a pvp focused content creator you can really utilize it whereas like you know if you um promote a new a new mode like like leagues or fresh start to and then you know you allow these creators that want to opt into it like as a partnership then it's like it would flourish a lot because like wow. yeah I, I, I think it's kind of like leagues one like uh fresh start was kind of like leagues one just slightly smaller scale just a tangent, right? Like about how you said um, players are actually growing over time. I think, yeah, like those come from, from your content creation, right? But like, like, I remember at the start of Leaks 1, a lot of people doubted it. They, they probably didn't hate it or anything. They, they, they oh were thinking God, like, yeah. oh, um, I don't see why we play it. You know, it's like a limited time mode. And then as soon as people start playing it and, and like, you know, and all that stuff, right? And, and content creators were on some of the, some of us that were playing it. A lot of people, like half of the content creators that didn't play, they're like, oh shit, this looks really fun. I need to get into it. And then all these other players too, they're like, whoa, what the hell? This looks so fun. I should have played. So then so then Leagues 2 came out. Everybody started packing into it, you know? So I think that's kind of like maybe the evolution, right? It's maybe Fresh Star 2. Um, you know, I really yeah. wish I could play. It's just like my, 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 uh, this gets tombs, you know, is, is right on my alley, like right there. Oh, so I can do it. But like, you know, watching you guys play i'm like yeah this looks definitely like something i would play like hopefully next time i have ample time and e even if i'm short on time i'll try my best to pre-plan it to fit it in you know because i want to play it right it's like Price is gonna have evolution. a half a year strat yeah. next, next six months <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know i'll just make 10 accounts right for, for the for so the accounts yo degree, you know? <laughs> re, re, what are you out of curiosity like what are you so busy with is it personal stuff or is it like work nah, just the video it's tech like, company dude, he's it's making an app video. it's just video <laughs> deadline like i'm trying to like i'm trying to finish some progress videos this month and then i'm, I'm trying to make this big guy next month off next month so like i have no okay. time for it yeah, that's pretty yeah, much bro, it. Yeah, bro, bro, have you, have you played Iron Man? Everything takes so long on that fucking mode. Yeah, it just goes slow. <laughs> yeah. No, but like, no, I really want to play it next time, for sure. I'll try my best to, like, squeeze it in. It's just like... If that's a next maybe time. Four I, I'm, not, I'm not sure that'll be a next like, time, not... to be honest. Yeah, oh, okay. Are but you like, sure? Just, I heard it was like every six before, months. Uh... Did they cancel that? Oh, it's definitely not, not every six, six months. It was never... Yeah, yeah I, I don't know where you heard oh, that. They said they were going to try it and see how... Where did I hear that? So this the six-month thing is... The mm -hmm. fresh start servers merge with the main game after six months. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, I that? know that. I just heard, yeah. I, dude. I hear all my my info from my viewers, dude. I love my viewers. I um, can't trust them though, right? Yeah. Every six so months, I heard. Yeah. <laughs> fresh start was going every six months. I just believe that shit, bro. Oh yeah, uh, no. Donkey Balls forty two. All right, sweet. I'll spread the word. Oh yes. man, isn't it? <laughs> isn't it just scary how many people in Twitch chats just they just provide like an opinion on something as fact. And it's like, yeah. holy shit. Do you know how much shit I get? I'm playing Fresh Start. And I'm like, dude, I wonder how much a Guffin Spirit. So I was like, maybe four mil. I'm like, what do you mean, maybe? He's like, oh, I don't know, I'm not playing. I'm like, what the fuck? He's like, <laughs> they'll just give me like random info. It's like, yeah, that's really, yeah, like, that's gotta be, be worth something. It. Yeah. Is it worth something in the main game? Mm -hmm. Bro. So, why are you yeah, answering these yeah, questions? Yeah. So, dude. you're right, you're right. Fresh Start may not uh, come out again, but I meant more so generally, like, you know, if it's like leagues or something, right? It's just because, like, if, if, if not Fresh Start, it'd be leagues, right? And I probably wouldn't have been able to play leagues uh, this time. You know, but like I'm, I'm just saying, like I'm, tr I'm trying to get back in when, when it's free. But like, if it, if it's fresh start, especially though, I would pay special attention to try to like, you know, get in there because like it, it is a fun thing that I had to forfeit this time. You know, 
So yeah, I, I, one of those. so but it's like, yeah, I feel like a lot of people <clears throat> seeing Fresh Start that didn't play, they probably like, yeah, this actually looks pretty fun. Like, I've like, I, you know, I'll probably try again next time. I think it'll be a bigger, like, you know, entry. Like, a lot more people will get into it next yeah. time if there is a next time. I, I think, flackers. I'll do this. Uh, this is a whole subject we should talk about with yeah. Fresh Start Worlds, right? So, like, originally fresh start worlds was pitched as being for new players and possibly returning players like that that was how it was pitched right like us we're, we're like anomalies in that full process like they're we're not supposed to exist more or less there's no, there, there's going to be some people that play the game and decide to play the the temporary game mode but like we aren't you know we, we aren't the target audience for this now i want to know what your experience has been solo like i don't know if you run around with your private off all the time or what but like I... do you think that fresh <laughs> start worlds do you think that it's been good for new players do you think yeah. it's been you know can for I, existing can I players in real quick Go for, for solo it. answers dude um it just it's funny that it's for, for fresh players but can you imagine like a fresh player going in the wild and just getting dumpstered week one by a dude in like full barrows gear vest and slot ahk slot you know what i mean they're just like is this normally how this goes or like every bracket has an account that gets swapped on or not swapped on but um absolutely demolished like imagine a playing an mmo for the first time and it's fresh you go right out to like the dangerous area and you just get like best in slot slapped instantly they must they must be like what the hell's happening bro this is normal <laughs> yeah, yeah i feel like a lot to, of people to, 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 to count to count to counter that though that just happens in the main game like you come up with some other baby pure and just smoke him anyway <laughs> no yeah. it does but not like this because usually like everybody in the wild is wearing the best they can because they just swapped over a couple hundred mil so, and they can't die like week one if you were in really good gear you weren't dying there's no telly block right so that's not usually how the wilderness is. Usually wilderness has rag robes and shit. Not everyone's in max. Everyone week yeah. one in the wild was in best in slide gear. That must have been like an eye opener for some new players. Yeah, I feel yeah. like a lot of no, it's, players... it's been interesting. I, th I yeah. think so. I've, I've got a, a little bit of a unique perspective on this. So my mum actually plays old school sometimes. Really? <laughs> and she and she um, was playing in free to play. Yeah, what's her RuneScape name real quick? I'm gonna add absolutely it. not tell you. <laughs> wait, 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 you don't have her added. There's no, you don't have her added on your accounts. It's fair, no, I, gave her some, I gave her some money at some point, I'm pretty sure. Oh, that's a good, um, hey, good bro, on you, man. Dude, you Solo's stuff. mom's got it going on. What the hell, you know? Hey, listen, if, she, if, she's, if she's looking for a good way to progress her account, you can link her straight to my YouTube, because you can be like, right, okay, listen, yes, listen, yes, listen, yes. mama, I'll be hiding my five <laughs> alts behind behind my main character. Dude, so, you honestly, know. it didn't occur to me Soul Mission had parents, you know? Like, what? <laughs> what? Soul mom. He was made from an egg. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? It's like... <laughs> Damn. He hatched yeah, from an so egg. Crazy. The his neck, was... You just see his head and his neck just elongating out dude, of the egg. The, the solo universe <laughs> just, just expanded, dude. The mythos just expanded. Oh my god. The solo so universe. Any, anyway. Universe. Yeah, that's sorry, so, that's, so well. Wait, 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 wait. We can't gloss over that. That's so fucking cool. So how did your mum get into RuneScape? Did she play before? She's, so so my, so my mum played back when we were kids. So, so I'm assuming it's pretty similar for all you guys, right? Like, especially wow, in UK primary cool. school all the kids were playing like literally everybody yeah. and um i think some some of the parents were like well what is this thing we want to check it. it's like fine so like my mum played one of my best mates dad played and like yeah they they, they just play like my mum used to like do skilling and just like sell lobsters and shit like that Bro. and like she actually she actually right this is like so amazing and like a, an amazing supportive parent thing to do right so for what for our birthday like for my birthday one time and my brother she actually saved up from like fishing lobsters and stuff to buy a whip and they gave me a whip for the birthday oh, that's how, how, cool you know how many oh, lobsters oh, that is bro oh, you have the best mop that is so, so many lobsters that, really, that is really cool isn't it that's oh, sweet on. that's so oh, cute yeah. man dude i told oh, my, my dad God. i'm fishing on runescape when i was a child because he liked fishing he goes all right and he just walked away what the fuck, man? <laughs> oh, oh, bro. So, best child awesome. ever. Listen, you don't need to tell her, tell, tell us her RuneScape name, but like, what kind of, um, like, how's she looking like in terms of stats? Like, is she a max gamer? <laughs> she real is she, quick, you know, <laughs> how is she? She's a skiller. She's a, a, grand, she's a grandmaster. No. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm no, joking. I was gonna say. <laughs> no, no, no. Right. So, she, okay. um, 
So she she played back in the day with us, and obviously like she quit after like a couple of years, like way before we oh, all quit. And yes, then holy. when I when I was taking YouTube seriously, she like I think she just jumped on to play an Iron Man again just to see what it was like nowadays. And then so she's got like a de pretty decent Iron Man. I think it's like seventeen hundred total or something like that. But like she didn't play that much. Like every every now and then she'll play, Not but much, like the leagues bro. and stuff like that. Going hard, bro. Damn, dude. Yeah, yeah. But but, but, but I, yeah, but I, I feel like I have a decent perspective <laughs> yeah. on what a mid-level player is like because of her, because she really struggles with. So she gets she's going through Quest Cape, right? And she's like, really hates like Night at the Theater, like finding it really difficult, and like Song of the Elves. Like these quests, like, are a real challenge to like someone who's not necessarily good at those sort of it's things. Yeah. <laughs> like she's now on her trackpad and stuff, and like. I think she's uh she's tried fire cape and stuff and died on job. <laughs> like, Dude, I would, would number one pad? tip. Number one tip for her <laughs> Yo, is to get it's a... so impressive. <laughs> number one tip is to buy a mouse. Yeah, uh, I think she, I think she <laughs> does mouse sometimes. I, 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 I don't know. Get your mom a mouse, bro. If your RuneScape but Come on, <laughs> Solo. What's up, dude? She's out there just fucking mouse. You know, yeah. here's a Logitech mouse or something. You know, here's something. Yeah, but I have her perspective. Like, she really hates the wilderness. Like, she just takes nothing <laughs> in there, sort of thing. Like, like she's like like she a, like know. a new, like a newbie sort of player like that. Yeah, she would fit Reddit, you know, well, you know, but it makes sense. Maybe like, she's on love, Reddit, bro. Like normal. Yeah. But going back to my original point was that she was oh, playing a free to play on these fresh start worlds and she was like making friends with people who were genuinely new at the game, like completely fresh players. Yeah. So I was, we were talking about whether these people have actually come. Like some of them do actually exist and they're, they're, they're playing because of fresh start. Like, do I think it's massively successful in that respect? Not necessarily. I think most of the people playing are, um, what do you call them? Like recaptured players or returning players. Yeah, yeah. players and it was and i think i think i do believe jx's intentions of it's a good way to market the game to new players absolutely I, I and i agree with that i know a lot of people don't think that but i think it is good because you mine coal you can sell it for 500 each in the main game it's 50 it's 50 coins like all these early game money making sort of things i know i know mm -hmm. things cost a lot of money but you can make money quickly yeah. and it's just it's it's more it's more how an mmo is supposed to be played like things these skilling mm -hmm. things have value before the bosses come in and they just yeah. ruin the price of everything yes. like for yeah. example it, in my series like i've sold dragonstone rings for 150k because just getting the crafting level it pay, it pays off and it's sort of a it's like a the beauty of runescape you're, and it's you're like right, you're right yeah right i miss, uh, yeah. I miss that we, part. We, yeah, yeah we've, we've completely lost that in the main game since 2015 so that side of it is definitely yeah. more appealing but, yeah honestly yeah, I, yeah you're right because because like there's some things that i feel like old school runescape isn't old school runescape anymore about you know because like like you said the whole resource thing i feel like that's that's a part of old school runescape that is no longer uh you mm -hmm. know in the main game yeah because like there was a point in time where Jagex, I feel like the catalyst to all of this change, like the, the removal of this idea that skilling was valuable, like like very valuable, not just like, oh, don't worry, there's still chins. Like, no, I'm talking about like when, when it was like a wider, you know, right, wider importance, right? It's when they decided to buff the wyverns, the skeletal yeah. wyverns. I don't know what year that was, but it was very early oh, on. It did start at that, because it was wyverns, then Zora, and then Gargoyles, yes. bro. And yeah. then not just gargoyles, they decided to do the Slayer revamp, which made everything like Karaz, <laughs> Necreals, you know, uh, uh, you know, all <laughs> those things give so much supplies. And then ever since then, it's just been like, all right, guys, how do we make bossing good? Add resources every time. I yeah. think that's, I think that was a mistake, in my opinion. You know, I, I mean, think it was a mistake yeah. to keep that trend going for so long because really. Why would you fish sharks or, you know, like, like exactly. why does making a glory matter anymore? You know, it doesn't really matter. But, but the right? thing now is... Now you can cut dragon stones for crafting XP, for God's sakes. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. <laughs> like what the heck? I mean, I think, yeah. I think some of that, yeah. and I would say not all of it, but I'd say a big part of big that part of was it, to do with Iron yeah. Man. Because uh, you're doing... Maybe. Because yeah. here's the thing. Like, the problem is that we have like an over we have a fully formed marketplace on the main game and if anything it's a little bit saturated right there's a bit too much versus fresh start worlds it's the complete opposite right but a lot of the bosses were given these crazy tables like for example and this is just like this, this is the the um go-to example for me 
is like a thousand flax drop from Zora. It's like because as an Iron Man, you, you can't get flax. But guess what? Do you want to go and pick tens of thousands of flax? I mean, it's like, no, it's like, let's make it more convenient for those people. There have been updates that have been purely catered well, to Iron okay. Man. I'm not, I, I think that I think that's that's not a good example because nobody even back then would care about flax, even on an Iron Man, to be honest with you. Like, so there, there's a point where I, I think I understand what you're talking about, but I think that happened at a later time. I'm, I'm, I'm saying the idea that to incentivize like killing certain mobs, all they had to do was dump resources. I think that idea existed way before Iron Man was a thing, right? Because Iron Man existed after like Wyverns, after uh, Zora, I'm pretty sure, after those things, right? And then only later on when you know a lot of players decided to go iron man mode they're these more casual players that got into the into the iron man mode they're like i want everything faster i get what you're saying and then jag is like ah perfect we already know this works add more resources and then it just kind of like compounded together right yeah i'm just saying like way before iron man even was a thing because like when the original iron man came out most of us most of the people that play iron man didn't give a shit about making things faster right we signed into the mode assuming that things were going to be Slow as fuck. But like yeah. I get it. There's like a new generation. Iron. I, I, but, I, but even yeah. before the timeline of that, I would I would like, have to see the timeline. I'd have to see the timeline for the release of Zora and Iron Man because I think they were relatively yeah. close, but I might be wrong. But to go yeah, back Yeah, no, but the Zora, trust me, trust me, Zora came out way before Iron Man because I did Zora when it came out. And and yeah. there was only normal accounts. So I don't know, but, bro. At, at I the listen time, it was insane. That, that, that was like when Wyverns and Zora. Boys, had, like, what we'll do is we'll invite a bunch of Iron Man to the podcast and we'll have a <laughs> Did Iron Man Ruin the Game podcast. Yeah. Yeah. I, I agree. I agree that nowadays though, like Iron Man's so popular that like a lot of these people that transfer straight from a main, they they get into it not thinking about like the original purpose of Iron Man. They're just like, oh, oh yeah. how do I make this Jagus? Can you make this faster? Is there a new poll? That I can vote yes to real quick mm -hmm. for like quick 50k XP. I get you because yeah. that is totally a thing, you know. I'm not trying to alienate the old Iron Man's from the new Iron Man's, but there's just so you know, I get it. It's like, it's like they, it's just everybody keeps focusing on the resources now as like they're yeah. as, a, as, a, as a, a bargaining point for updates, which I honestly think is it's, it's gross. It, it ruined skilling, really, really, right? I'm a PVM, yeah. I you know all the time, but it ruined skilling, it really did. I missed it, the it, 100k it, glories, okay, sorry. It, yeah. it 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 did in a way, but I think yeah. <clears throat> if you look at the game over a ten year span, glories mm. would even if you didn't have yeah, all yeah, these extra things, glories would really. always have gone down. Yeah. And I think <laughs> pumping resources in through PVM, like I I don't think people don't really agree with this generally, but I, I think it has been for the benefit of the game because ultimately people are more likely to stay longer and be more engaged with playing if they're killing Zora than if they are if they're picking flax or if they're mining coal or if they're doing all these things. So mm. it's like, yes, we, we get by doing that, we get rid of the nostalgic sort of like everything's worth something in fresh start. But I, I don't think that ever lasts. I think you always will the market will always be flooded with a lot of these things like the Dragonstone rings, et cetera. Like, yeah, I, I, I agree with you. I agree extent. with you. I think the main issue is the pacing, right? Of like, cause like, you know, when you make like, like, you know I mean? Like, let's say you're a con uh, you're a dev, right? You're like, okay, how much resources does something give? Right. So, mm. so isn't there like a big difference between like, okay, let's give, uh, let's have, uh, you know, this boss drop, uh, five gold ore. First, it's like, oh, let's have this drop, uh, this boss drop 100 gold ore. You get what I'm saying? It's like, I think it's all about somewhere in the middle, right? I feel like we're, we're at a point where, you know, it, it's gone so bad that you have to literally give someone like 50 dragon stones as a drop, you know? Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like, I feel like it's, it's, I feel like maybe it's not really the fact that they're adding resources to, you know, to the, to the bosses. I think it's more so that, They've just added too many because I remember when Zora first came out, Zora would drop uh it would drop a hundred magic logs or something, or like twenty runite ore. Yeah, um, I remember that, yeah. Some, some crazy. <laughs> and then, you know, obviously it was like such a it was so much so fast. Um <clears throat> that yeah, they just had to like ner nerf it like four different times over the years. Yeah. But even then, even though they nerfed those things, they they kept uh making monsters, other monsters, other bosses drop so many other supplies like at such a big amount that 
that I feel like they're, they're I feel like it's just too much too fast, you know? That's the I, thing. I feel like it's more of a balancing so, thing, you know? So, I, I agree. Like, imagine... Sorry. Yeah, what were you gonna say? I was just gonna say, I agree. Um, I, I think, yeah. uh, with both of you, I think you're right. Yeah. I, think yeah, I, think, that... I think I think I think there's a middle somewhere in there, yeah, yeah. you know? Well, I think what that middle ground is, is I don't think that there's it's necessarily bad to have all of these items coming into the game. Um, and we we obviously both have a different opinion on that, Bree, and that's absolutely fine because you know I do believe yeah. that there has been some Iron Man incentive going into these. Oh no, there drops. is now nowadays for sure. There is <clears throat> but the what, past few years, absolutely. <laughs> what I think is they need yeah. to find that middle ground on how exactly can we <laughs> extract out of the economy those items. So, for example, I I think that a really good example of this is the uh, the new mini game, the Giant's Foundry. I'm not even joking. Like, it, it, it's... Right, sorry, I, th I thought you were going to say introducing warding. That was part of warding. Oh, like, damn. I wish we had invention. But, but this is the thing. That. We were talking about this on my stream the other day, right? We were talking about like new skills, warding, and stuff like that. Warding to me, and we can get into this subject, whatever. I, I just simply put warding to me seemed like a skill that didn't necessarily fit perfectly in the game, and it was just an excuse to have a new mm -hmm. skill. But you're right. I think that what they've done with updates like the Giant's Foundry, which I recently discovered, is they've effectively taken the concept for warding and they've just implemented it into mini games for other skills, which is a really smart way of doing it. E.g., they're making it so that you can reuse these resources you get. In Giant's Foundry, it's it, you know it's a case of reusing your rune items or like your adamant drops that you get and stuff like that, where it's like instead of just throwing it in the Grand Exchange or turning it into cash via the high alk spell it's like you can actually get smithing xp instead right so i feel like if they were to make it so there's more mm -hmm. item sinks i don't think it would necessarily matter too much with how many resources are being pumped through certain monsters in the game as long as there's like a relatively decent amount of those items that are being burnt off on the back end in variations of ways right um but if we can go back to like the original talking point Back to the fresh start world. I feel like I yeah. feel like we've we've like gone we've journey, yeah. <laughs> mate we've got we've gone down the avenue of blaming Iron Man for the downfall of the game. We've been everywhere. Yeah, the old the old school is good podcast bingo, bro. They, they got bingo. <laughs> 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 oh shit! I'm so they were talking about polling. <laughs> what, what I would what I would say about fresh start worlds from my uh, perspective and my opinion is i have really enjoyed it myself i've loved it i'm loving it um but from the perspective of how things have gone the economy and so forth if it were up to me if we could go back in time um i think that fresh start worlds personally i i think that i think that the fact that so much swapping was prevalent in these fresh start worlds was one of the main reasons why it has become so unfriendly for new players. And I'll explain it like this. I had somebody in my chat a few days ago basically say to me, hey man, um, I'm playing Fresh Start Worlds and I'm thinking about just transferring to the main game. And he was asking me how he did it. So I had to like show him in game like how he did that. And I was like, you know, out of curiosity, I was like, why are you, why are you quitting Fresh Start Worlds? And he was like, well, he's like, my friends are on the main game. And I was like, okay, that's fair enough. Like that's, that's a reason to go in itself. But he said to me, it's too expensive like to get resources and stuff he's like i just can't get stuff and i thought about it and i was like i was like damn yeah i was like the fact that there's been so much money pumped into the economy uh through swapping and obviously there's been the whole you know money being smuggled in as well which didn't help um i think that that in itself is really not new player friendly because it basically means that for new players to get resources, because there's just such an abundance of money in the game where there are certain people controlling that money who have been the people swapping, the gate the gate holders to uh, to the GP swap rates, etc. It, it's kind of made it non-noob friendly in, in, a cert, in a few certain ways. Um, now, I think it would be interesting to see how it would go if there was no swapping. But I, I think like... I, I don't know. I don't like that. There's something about that that just sits on well with me. And I'm, yeah. Solo mission. Let's hear it. Let's <laughs> you go in the front. Let's, let's have, neck. dude, let's have, an, let's have an economy class from solo Sir, mission. Please. Let's hear it. Sir. Your turn. The thing, the, thing, the thing you're describing, though, is two sides of the same coin. Those same noobs can mine the, the coal yeah. law and sell it for 500 each. 
So it's like, mm. but I, I, I do get the point that it's a bit off putting. Like, yeah, yeah, that that's the thing. It's like if the prices are topic. if the prices but, um, are expensive, you can also go ahead and make a lot of money doing yeah. things. But but the thing is, for a new player, I, I would say that the lack of experience there kind of prevents their imagination in some ways from being able to think of those money makers that they can go and do. Uh, just I I, I, don't, I don't necessarily agree. I don't necessarily agree because. I think people might want to smith a bar and then they go and yeah. oh the ore's mad expensive. I'll just go my I'll go mine it and sell it. But that's like that's the so, process that someone goes through. But yeah, I so, I don't know. I, I don't I don't think it's but obviously this guy's had this issue, right? So obviously yeah. it is an issue. I mean the, the guy had like a, a couple other things like on his side. Like so for example, he was like my friends were playing on the other servers, so I was like, Yeah, it's a no brainer. Like go and play with your friends, why not? And then oh, it was yeah. also a case of like, and they're gonna give me some money. Do you know, they're gonna hook their boy up. So it's like that. That's yeah. always like a bias to that. It, exactly. But what? Yeah, what I fair. Yeah. I was gonna say what I will say yeah, is I, I I've heard that the free to play economy on Fresh Start Worlds has, by the sounds of it, been the authentic like new player experience. Um, and the only other thing I've heard about it is that it's just riddled with bots. So I've heard those two things. So good and bad, I guess. Yeah, no, I agree with Solo mostly just because like even even when Old School came out, it's it was technically fresh start, right? Like people mealed all the time, like people swapped all the time from the other game, so so I don't I don't think that necessarily is really stopping new players. I think the I think the biggest obstacle to getting new players into anything in in like legitimately new players, like someone that's never played the game before, it's exposure. I think that's probably the biggest thing. Because, like, who really hears about RuneScape stuff nowadays? It's existing or, or players that are on break or haven't played in a long time, right? And they just keep up with the content creators, right? But we should use that to our advantage. Well, not we, but, like, I mean, like, Jagex, right? Like, they, like if they're going to promote something like this or, or any big update where they do want to see a lot of players, uh, new and old, come and check it out, is they need to really, really, like, have like a solid um you know connection with their content creators do like their you know like the soul mission like when they technically hired him right to like do do this content like they just need to do a lot more of that they just need to really focus on the creators that are going to like do some research you can't just give it to every creator because not every creator is going to be like, Reese, Reese out here trying to make it really... back bro <laughs> no, I'm just saying I'm just saying I think it works because the fact alone that Fresh Worlds play, are getting more content, players you know I mean? right? the fact that Fresh Worlds now like three weeks in is getting more players than like the first two weeks speaks volumes to the fact mm -hmm. that creator dri driven like promotion right is, is literally carrying this motherfucking yeah. project 100% literally so imagine if they just knew which creators that, that are going to work on uh, focus on this content, and then you you incentivize them to make sure they stay on track. Like I think a lot of players, a lot of new players or people that just watch YouTube, whoever they are, right, whatever they consist of, will want to play the game. You know, that's just that simple. That's what they have to do. I mean, that's one step towards something bigger because, like, eventually, you know. Like, if you want to reach critical mass, we do need something that like gets enough views that it like penetrates like top 10 gaming trends on youtube or like or like top 10 uh twitch views right things like that that's the only way to really reach those like truly new players like the kids right for example right but but as far as we can do as far as jackets can do effectively is you know tie tie in their promotions with the creators so that way at least the youtube viewers and the twitch viewers can get can get into the mode right yeah i think that's it's a like, fantastic well, idea it's a way better idea in my opinion like yeah they, they obviously have the data and like they can look at this from previous brand deals they've had with content creators but like when you pay the likes of like a top page twitch streamer like i don't know like ms kiff or asman gold or someone like that and, and it's like they have you know between 30 to like 100k views whatever it is it, it's like they pay them a ridiculous amount yeah, of money it's like yeah exponential and like at the end of the day it's you know it really is just like it's a hit and quit it it's like you know they'll play the game they'll expose it for the time limit that they have to and then they're 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 done yeah right? they'll, it, yeah, it's they'll out. often do the bare minimum <laughs> it's yeah. like, oh is it time yet oh okay let's go back to the other game like you know like, I, I, I don't think that is, i don't think that is a waste of money though because you it's are trying to engage a new audience i just think mm -hmm. they go about it in a really poor yeah. way i think yeah yeah I think, for, for, for example, a better way 
Well, I, I know we're all thinking of the group Iron Man promotion, right? When yeah, they paid yeah. those people mm -hmm. loads of money and it's like Runestone yeah. and this, whatever this. Yeah. But like, they sh what they should have done for that would is something like they should have paid to pair an existing old school RuneScape creator with a brand new person. So say, for example, Settled and Ludwig are on the same group Iron Man team. Or like Settled, Ludwig, Jimmy... I, I don't really know any of the Twitch guys, yeah. Mizkiff. Say they're all on a team, and then there's another team of like, let's get me in there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and, and two big guys. And then they should have been like, okay, you've got three hours on stream to do a group Iron Man. So, and then fire or something like that. Something with a bit more structure. And so they could have a little bit of guidance, but not like an overruling sort of yeah, dictatorship. Yeah, yeah. You're going to be fair. Yeah, yeah. You know, we're fair people. But like, so something like that, like, would be a more interesting stream for them to put on for their viewers and it's not as much mm -hmm. chaos because like yeah. when you do some of these those you see some of these sponsor streams they're shit because they don't really understand what's going on they don't care yeah, they literally spend two hours walking that, around and that's, that's it that, that's <laughs> the thing i i think yeah. that there's there's definitely like viability yeah. in both in sponsoring people who are just gonna you know take the bag I, I think, advertise I think it and safer. dip yeah. but but then it's safer to do it with us I, 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 yeah, you know, bigger, bigger creators. Yeah, but well, we, yeah, but we have, we have such a limited reach to genuinely yeah, new yeah. people, though. A really limited. Yeah, no, oh, I yeah, agree. For because, sure. like I said, there's two, there's two, there, I feel like there's two brackets of exposure, right? So the first bracket is within us, like the viewers that watch YouTube, right? And then the second bracket is the, like, kind of like the meta viewers, right? The people that, that watch the most popular games. But, but the thing is, those, those people will never reach this bracket. Right, unless we reach on, we go, we go up. Right, that's the only way they see us is if we go up. But like, it's really hard to go up, though. It's really, yeah. really hard. And like, it's, it's not, it's, yeah. it's not a one or other thing. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, I, it's, yeah. You know, no, I think there's, a lot, a lot, there's a lot in both. There's, there's validity yeah. in both. Like, both can work. But, but my point is, is that they haven't until recently done us. They've only ever done people that are, you know, just hitting it and quitting it. That's my point. And, like, I think that what they did with Fresh Start Worlds this time around was fantastic because they actually paid people that play the game to incentivize them to make content, blah 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 I think that's good. I think it's good for so many reasons, but I'm saying it'd be good for that to continue and maybe have, like, a mix of both. From my experience, when I watched, I watched Mizkiff's stream of uh, playing RuneScape, he literally did the Waterfall quest for, like, six hours. And he was so checked out the entire time and just not interested. I was watching it and I was thinking, man, like they must have paid this dude handsomely. And this man is just like fucking away with the fairies, man. He's thinking about what he's doing after stream. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like he was clocked out like the whole time. Yeah, so. yeah, no, but I agree with solo missions uh, in that particular group. Because like Group Iron Man, you know, it was they have four years to really plan the marketing, right? And and it was still so poor. But yeah, yeah like he literally hired cool. Solo for that. He, he like he he hit on nailed it. On, <laughs> on he he literally hit it on the on the head, bro. Yeah, Just so like commission them boys. Up. Man, I, I, yeah, I pair them up with consecrators that yeah. play the game. And, I think and I think it'd be perfect. Yeah, I think case. me and Min Mad Cow have been their best investment for First Start Worlds because they didn't even <laughs> fucking pay us. Yeah, well, well, that's, that's, <laughs> okay, okay. So say we okay, game let's, it, let's bro. They're that. looking at us right now. They're like these fucking goons. These goddamn yeah, idiots, but, yeah. they're playing for free. <laughs> yeah, but that, 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 that's, that's, the, that's the thing, right? Why there's not that much partnership with existing people because they will just play anyway. There's not, there's not, there's not really a need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, I'm changing, business, I'm changing as a, games, as a business. Bro. There's not a need to I'm a be, I'm gonna play World of Warcraft that, that much. I'm gonna play Guild I think Wars, Maple Story. We'll play Story. harder though, you know? We, we'll reach further though. No, you know? I, to be honest with you, if they sponsored me, absolutely nothing would have changed. Absolutely nothing. That's the really? that's the god on street. Yeah, so, so, so that would be because, a waste of money. Because <laughs> I'm already putting a hundred percent into what I'm doing. It's like how yeah, can I, I put any more? I'm already trying my hardest. I genuinely wouldn't have tried harder because I'm trying as hard as I can. That's my point. I, but I think it, I would go hundred and twenty percent. It would have been <laughs> you know? it would no, I'm not gonna lie. I don't think there's much else I could fucking do, to be honest with you. There really isn't. But I'll tell you what, it would like my my respect for them would just yeah, be like yeah. i'd be like thank you i appreciate yeah, you throwing this dog a bone thing. you know i've been yeah. waiting a long time it would be great yeah. you know it would be really it's, nice yeah yeah it's That's a all long term it is. trust thing you know right it's that these guys are they they know we're here and like they they understand our importance that's kind of like the deal but like yeah. I, I do it until i get bored without incentive right but like 
Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I mean, I get the idea. Yeah, and yeah, that, you know, why, why pay them, right? I feel like, obviously, you can't just pay every content creator because there's many, many. But, like, but like I think there's definitely better... I, th I think if they improve the system with which they find content creators for certain updates to partner with them that specializes in certain things, it would work well, right? I mean, yep. obviously, Soul Mission, you work best because, you know, you're the update guy and you do, and you do a great job with new server stuff, right? But there's also a few other people... That probably you know does a good job with those too. Like you know, make sure they have they have a good connection with those guys when those events happen. Good because I feel like it's totally worth the money in that yeah. case. Do you know what I like, think? Well, oh. I think what would. Hey, well, sorry, let me look real yeah, quick. Sorry. I think sorry, what. Yeah. Let me just quickly. I think what mm -hmm. would work, and we've spoken about this for ages, work really well, mm -hmm. especially with RuneScape, is almost making it like a referral thing. I've said this for ages. I'd love it for them to have unique content creator codes where it's like, hey, play RuneScape using my link, and then you get to see how many people are joining, they get to see how many people are joining, and then, like, even doing it along those lines. I think that would be, like, a more sustainable way of doing it instead of just throwing, like, bucket loads of money at people and seeing if it sticks. Performance-based, like, yeah, partnership. I, I, yeah. I genuinely don't think that would be a bad idea. And it would be nice for us as well to have that information as content creators to be like, hey... This is me playing this game, and this is how many people are playing through my referral links per month for whatever it is. And then you can go to other brands as well and be like, yo, do you want this? Oh, you God. know, there it is. Yeah, also, um... Hey, Solo Mission Boys, use my code. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, what, I, what I was going to say is yeah. that um, mm. it's part, like, I don't mean to sound savage, but part of the thing, the. Um, Part of the onus is on us as creators to pitch pitch them things as well. Like, uh, for example, EV Skates Battle Royale is being sponsored by Jagex, I think, or yeah, at least yeah, partnered partnered really with cool. Jagex this year. Finally. And that's from him going out of his way to pitch them the idea and then see what happens with that. So it's like, yeah. cause, because from a business perspective, they're not going to pay you for doing something that you've already you always were going to do. No, exactly. Really. Yeah. Like, yeah. like, there's not there's not really that. So say say in my case, for example, so um, they the benefit from me is they so my deal was they locked me in for five videos, and I, I was very clear that Fresh Start had a massive negative reception, like as feedback to it, and I, and I was I was I was a bit concerned. Like I obviously I obviously wanted to play it, and um, but ultimately. I, I run my YouTube, my RuneScape, like a business. If if it wasn't getting the views, I will, I'm not going to upload it because I want to get as much money as I can per sponsorship and stuff like that. Like that's my motivation at the end of the day. So they just, they locked me in for five. So I was definitely doing five, even if those videos started getting like 80K views by the end. I, mean, I know it's unlikely, but you never know with these sort of things. Yeah. So them sponsoring me alleviated some of my concerns. They get guaranteed five videos. And that's the that was the benefit for sponsoring me. At, those five videos won't have like mobile games on them. It will be a link to Jagex and saying you guys should check this out. And in turn, obviously, I'm going to speak well of Fresh Start Worlds. For example, I didn't ever mention the GPGPing or anything like that. So yeah, there is there's there's that there, but that you've got to there's got to be a benefit to, for them doing that. And I think oh yeah, there has to be a value when when, when, when I was. And when I was talking to them, that I was I was upfront with that, and there was some sort of benefit for them there. I like, so I, I don't I don't know. I feel yeah. like you just gotta. And to be, be fair, you have up, you have uploaded eight Fresh Start World videos. I just checked, which is like, so you did you did what like three above what you were contracted to do, which is like yeah a good thing. I'm sure that was obviously due to the fact that your videos have done well. Uh, if they paid you to do five five quest speedrunning videos i assume you probably would have stopped after the fifth right <laughs> like, <laughs> that would have been done um what if i make it to the second you know <laughs> but yeah it's a no-brainer man it's like at the end of the day like i even question in some ways it's like just even sponsoring you like as a runescape content creator it's like is it even worth it for them to do it considering the fact that you already play but i guess when it comes to like a, a time mode this is where we fall into a very weird kind of place where it's like well you got to pick somebody who might not necessarily be playing, right? And then the incentive for them to play mm. is the fact that they're going to get paid. So it's like, I don't know. It's it's yeah. Just... But the the, the 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 main reason why they sponsored me is because there's a genuine danger that I would just stop after two videos. Yeah. 
And I, I, I honestly think I, I gave them a pretty generous rate. And I think, I don't know. So basically, it's, it's, hard, it's, it's hard to gauge it. Basically, but. your advice is from now on, just never upload content and just say, I'm not paying it. I'm not playing it unless you pay me because it looks bad. That That's how we do these well. negotiations. <laughs> it's funny, but that's how everything works in real life. It is funny. Though. Yeah, just, nah, but I it mean, is a passion yeah, to us. Is, so that's yeah. a completely different. But that's how yeah. everything works. Yeah, I mean, I mean, don't, don't get me wrong. Like, if I go and get a, a normal job, like a nine to five, where I started my own company or something like that, like I'll be, I'll be there. So, like, if you want me to play next league, it is going to cost money. And I don't know. Like, and then that that creates like a. Um, yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? That's that's more of a. You can see why they would pay because, like, I have delivered. I, I always deliver. On these things. Oh, he's yeah. made. Always. I do. Boy, I do. Bro, bro is, this is becoming a fucking down. ad at this point. Jeez. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, he's, 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 a big, he's the big like, boy, like, man. He, like, ego sure. like, aside, like, uh, it's just right, objectively right. true. It is. Like, yeah, no, probably. he's not lying. It's not right, bro. He's got it's numbers right. to back it up. He delivers. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, I, I think yeah. there definitely is, like, it's nice that Jagex are doing this now. It's nice that they're potentially going to be sponsoring actual content creators even if it's a little bit man it's like it's a nice incentive and it's also good to see that like you did more than what you were contracted to do it's like you know everybody wins that's what you want at the end of the day it's like when you have a a brand deal or you have a business um you know opportunity you have a business partner or whatever it is it's like your objective isn't to fuck the other person over it's to you know both be mutually happy with the outcome of the business deal and like the those are the best kind of business deals you can have and you get good business relationships when that happens um so yeah i yeah fair yeah Absolute i was fair. gonna say man i know we missed a bag tom but this info that they're paying people to play games at their own their own community makes me they're very trying. excited right mm -hmm. even if we miss multiple bags that money is still getting recycled into the community those videos are going to get better we have a whole art section for runescape too there's artists there's graphic designers or blenders that money's going to pour into them and it just kind of makes the community more real so yeah. I'm, I'm excited to see where this goes i mean look at games that pay their community fortnite do i have to say any others league of legends they they're one of the biggest esports events they pay their own community once we become real you can't really stop it, right? Once the money is circulating into the economy, into the RuneScape economy, you're paying these artists, the content becomes better. Someone's searching RuneScape content, they're watching a full-length film from Rendy, right? And that guy's not even getting paid. Can you imagine if they were paying Rendy or somebody, right? It, it, I'm excited to see if RuneScape continues to push its limits as an old, old-ass game. And I feel like this is a first step here. Um, yeah, I mean, hopefully good things come from it. And it's like, you know... On, on the subject of Fresh Start Worlds actually doing the complete opposite from every other game mode, where it gains more players over time than it's lost, which is, like, a first, and, like, this doesn't usually happen. It's basically had the opposite effect of Deadman mode, where everybody plays at the beginning, and then after a few days, it dies, right? This yeah. has been the complete opposite to that. But, like... It's dead in the beginning, and all of a sudden it's alive, yeah. That's, exactly. That's beautiful. But, but here's the thing. I, I, I think that, you know, obviously, the content creation around Fresh Start Worlds has probably had a huge... I would probably say, like, imagine imagine a world where there was no content creation. There was no YouTube. So everybody's just playing Fresh Start Worlds. It's like... I'll, I'll, say, I'll tell you what that world looks like. PvP Arena. <laughs> <laughs> uh... So if you made a PvP Arena video solo, it'd be saved? But not necessarily, but it would have definitely been right. way more popular. It would definitely have been way more popular if, say, Tor Vesta. Like, think about it. Tor Vesta, Sea Engineer, Framed, me... No, there's no PvP arena video of more than 100k views on YouTube. There's there's not a single one. Yeah, right, that wrong, is... but I do think they kind of tossed that whole idea out the window. Oh no 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 no! Like, I, th I, th I, th I think I think the I think the rewards are terrible, but like it really really flopped. Like yes, really mm -hmm. really flopped. Yeah. And I think part of that is because there was just no coverage of it. Yeah, well, there's no rewards. Well, yeah. well, there's not exactly a reason to no be coverage. there, is there? No, I, yeah, I, I I know that as well, right? But like, yeah. But yeah. like, here, here's my yeah. question to you, though. Here's my question to you, Ryan. So, admittedly, I haven't actually even done the PvP arena. I'll say that I've not actually done it. So, have you done it yourself? And if you have, you're, talk, you're, talk, you're talking to an adamant ranker right now, bro. Okay. So, <laughs> so you're you're a, you're you're the. Weeks. I have done it. I have done it. I probably I probably done okay. about ten hours of it. 
10 hours. Oh, 10, would you say 10, 10 to 20? Would you say that there was enjoyable content? Like, how would you actually rate the content itself out, outside of the rewards, the actual content itself? Like, how would you rate it? Um, it was it was decent. It did the job that it was designed to do. I would definitely say that in, ter in terms of the gameplay, like it's it is providing like NH fights versus an opponent, like. A pretty, a pretty decent system, like the interfaces are good, all that sort of thing. But I, I just, I think one versus one H and Hing, like I don't know, I don't think that's that interesting. I don't really, I don't, I don't think outlasting is in that, in that sort of no risk sense, is that interesting. I don't think people want to watch like one v one dual arena tournaments or anything like that. And um, yeah, I feel I feel like their time would have been better spe spent elsewhere, but obviously they had to bring something out. And also, don't okay. let's not forget that it that yeah. Uh, sorry, I'm I'm really mincing my words here. But um, the if the rewards were better, maybe it would do better. But I think if there was a competitive scene, it would it, it there is a good framework there for that to be built upon. Yeah, like if people grab hold of it now like like it's in the game like if you want to host a tournament it's a great place to host a tournament for example i yeah. wish there was more customization i wish you could literally just type in the stats that people were allowed to have uh ban certain gears if you're the tournament host or something like that if that was in oh, amazing i would re really like to see that added but i mean they're probably not going to do that because it's barely used at the moment mm -hmm. um but I, I yeah it's just i just i want i want competition yeah. in runescape and like competitive events but it's just the same it's just age-old problems of all that sort of Bro, stuff something you just said we, we could talk about that for an hour something you just said is really interesting mm. man it's just made me think right it's like I, it seems like when it comes to pvp updates it's like there's never this like back there, there's never this expectation of like having to really tweak it or change it over the coming weeks afterwards or however long whereas like you take a, a big pv pvm update and it makes sense that they would say hey we're dropping toa into the game this is raids free it's, there haven't been a new raid in five years we're actually gonna have like devs on standby by for a few months afterwards to like you know work out the kinks right whereas like that doesn't seem to be the case with pvp drops it's like they just drop it and they're just like that'll do We'll see yeah, how that um, does. We'll we'll leave that for a few is very years. kinky, bro. A lot of I, but, I mean, I, I kind of agree. I think I think they're very slow with wellness updates, partly because the experience in the team isn't there in the same way that it is with PV PVM. But exactly. think about how many iterate. I think about how many iterations found of rev caves of bounty hunter. Like they they do they do change these things. Like yeah, but I think but, I think I think it's unfair to say that they just leave stuff forever and it's okay. like fucked. I think the it's, Slayer it's caves, really small. It's like millions of, Lots of updates. I've, I've, I don't Holy know. I feel like... suck ass. That's a bad. No, no, they don't. No, they don't. They, they're they only don't. good for people who use the caves because it's like there's so many ridges and exits, and I can do a whole rant. It's, it's. I, I think terrible. it is fair to say though, like the revenant changes they did, it wasn't from a place of like, oh, this could be better. It was a case of like, we need to change this because it's fucking the game up right no, yeah. no 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 but no but even yeah. from the no I, i'm arguing against you saying that they just never change they don't really change anything they don't monitor content that's ongoing like they they change the pj timer they move the entrances around like they check they've changed the drops multiple times they've changed the multi to single etc like they do change things like yeah yes they might be slow but I, I don't know. I feel like oh, they get bad. a little bit of they get a bit of a bad rap sometimes. It's, it's weird how they change things in the wild, though, right? Because I'll monitor updates after a bit, and I'll be like, okay, this needs to be changed. Then it doesn't, and then some do. Like the spammable entrance is now different, and that was quite quicker than most things they've done for rev caves. But then they'll just kind of let stuff go. Like you could just suicide at the wilderness altar for free prayer XP. That's been a thing since it started. Or maybe the update for like a deep wilderness wines. That's never been used by anyone but high level Ironman and bots dead on release. <laughs> bots. Um, yeah. So yeah, it's like certain updates, they will go back and they'll change some stuff, but it, relatively they are so much slower, if not non-existent for Wildy updates as uh, as I just kind of, it's see definitely some problems with some of this stuff. It's definitely slower. I, I think, like, back on the subject of like the PvP arena, um, like, m so obviously, Soda Mission, your opinion is that you don't enjoy that so much, which is fair. Um, uh, I, 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 I do, but there's, there's, yeah, no, it's fine. You don't need to like there's, it. There's not, like, not, like there's it. not really, <laughs> no, I, do, I do, like, I do enjoy NHing, like, I'm pretty decent at it, unlike 
one one thing I don't enjoy is DD bridging. Fucking is so yeah. irritating. I, I, I hate, it's hate that mechanic not so, so much. Friendly either, is it? it no yeah, one else will watch if, it. If, if if they got rid of DD bridging, I would be way more inclined to be do more PK and content and stuff like that. But probably These their are... first step towards esports, bro. If they make it so you get unfrozen <laughs> when you walk under someone. It'd be much more of an entertaining. I mean, I, I, I've, anyway. I've suggested all these sort of things before. Like, it would be so good an, if I, I, an item, like you can drop a spike when someone's on you, and it like damages <laughs> you for five, but then for twenty if you're on the same tile. So if you drop it at the wrong time, you just fuck yourself over. But it's like a counter <laughs> and stuff Wars, like that. There's, there's loads of different things. I, I think do. they could just make it so you can't stand under your opponent. Like make it so it's or it physically freezes, impossible. Right? That'd be. It's like yeah. it makes sense too. It's like oh, the ice barrage is fought out. You walked under your opponent. And yeah, like, but then second. Uh, you know, freeze. Um, but then, at the, at the highest, at the highest skill level, you're taking, you're lowering the skill ceiling significantly by not allowing that. That's that's part of the problem. With is, that though, like how I compare high high skill is that anything can be skillful, right? Like I like to use the analogy: if I throw a penny in the air and catch it with my butt cheeks, that's really <laughs> skillful. But no one wants to fucking practice that shit, right? Just like walking under someone and understanding PID to the point where you can get an attack without. Yeah, super skillful. But no one wants to do that shit. Get rid of it so there's, you know, opportunity for other skill to flourish, right? Boys. Like if they take away DDs, mm. other things around Britting will become more complicated and complex and there will be different metas, dude. That's back how I see back it. to the original yeah. point that I was saying, right? Yeah, Solo, don't want, I'll get down listen, a whole trail, dude. Don't even, yeah. Solo mission, hey, it's fair, mate. It's not for everybody. I understand that. That's fine. But what I will say is I've heard a lot of people say that the PvP arena was actually decent and they enjoyed it a lot um and you know the concept of it was good so like my argument for the pvp arena is like okay so you've got a piece of content that is actually good like the foundations of it is decent people enjoy it and that feedback i think which i just said was from um was from reese or rise 07 when we were actually yeah. in birmingham he was saying like how good the pvp arena was good there's just no reason to be there so like my argument to that would just be like well I see it as like not a huge issue to have a piece of content that is fundamentally good, but all it's lacking are rewards. I, I feel like it's a lot easier to fix that than what it is to have uh, a piece of content that is fundamentally bad with good rewards, right? That seems to like a harder fix for me. So, but like I said, I, I have very limited experience with the PvP arena. So what, what the fuck do I know? You know. Well, when Solo was talking about it, uh, he brought up a great point. It is amazing for tournaments, dude. And that's kind of something that the community can build for. I tried that. It's great. Um, but yeah, it's customization is trash. I mean, honestly, just work on the customization, add auto queuing, you know, take it out of that weird, like intermediate thing too. It's like, oh, it's got to be on this own world. And if you just queue up for it while cutting a tree. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that's what I, was I mean, rewards are yeah, rewards. I think you can do that though, can't you? I, mean, I don't know. I think you have to be on the world. I think you it's can, a whole different world, right? That's just that's just not how people play RuneScape, though. I think, yeah. I think it's on a whole um, different thing, though, right? There's PvP arena worlds, unless it's in the no, main no, no, game no, no, no. But I could I could be on World 302 dancing at the Grand Exchange, but queued for a tournament. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. I, not and a tournament, but one... just like ranked ranked gameplay. No, no, no. Like... Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah. The same with a ranked match. You you can do that, but people just don't use you can. it. Does it toss you into that world, or you're? Well, you you get a notification. You go on your chat thing, and then you click switch to world five five eight. Ah, see, that's not see, that's not very smooth though, right? Like, why move I out mean, of your own it's, world? It's like it's, it's only like an extra like three clicks. Do you know? Nah, what I mean? there should be like a little overlay that like it's like a, it's like and then it's like constantly like load doing a little loading thing, and then you click OK when it's ready, and then you're good. Like this it should just, be like a sounds... League of Legends match. Bro, you that's know, not far off what I'm saying. <laughs> it's just What's yeah, up, the, 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 pro the problem is I think it is. I think it is well designed. I, I just don't think people have used it, and like you guys have you to, know? you guys have to swallow some of your words, right? Because this is exactly the sort of thing that you've wanted for years, like the with the rankings and like the queuing and all this sort of stuff. That's just. You know what I mean, I, I know there's no rewards, though. but yeah. no, you you speak truth, element. man. Like they they accomplished what they set out to do. But like yeah. I said, like without customization, how are you going to get excited when you can wear anything, fight someone? There's no limits. Limits is where fun things happen, right? Limits like LMS. Oh, dude, I can only use this. To, right? You need limit. You could be like rag, mid gear, top gear. And then, like I said, not going to that world, but just having the whole thing work together 
in, in tandem, right? Say 330 yeah. has, you know, like it, it could be so much more well polished to the point where I could see people using it. Cause when I use it, like you got to set all this shit up. There's it's, it's kind of scuff. And then honestly, even the top down point of view and fighting people makes me not want to do it. I don't, I don't like that angle. Right. So I, I don't know. I'm picky. So but it's it's, it's um, honestly yeah, I think they have um it's probably like the the basic structure but I feel like obviously it's not exactly what we kind of like talked about in detail. I think these are all just smaller things like the queuing and stuff. That's just a critical part of it, right? If it gets popular enough and it and it sets some trends like people will definitely use it. But right now it's like there's not many people yeah that even know about it in the first I place. Think, so like you can't I think really get if they if, if they implement rewards in the right way, that'll do a big, a big thing for mm-hmm. it. And if the main thing, the, I think the main thing holding it back and the is there's just no competitive scene. There's not. Yeah, yeah there's not one. There's, there's really not. Need. There's not one. Yeah. There's not one hosted by Jagex, but it's not necessarily on them to provide the competitive scene, is it? Because they're a game developer. They're not an events company. And it is correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like with other games like League of Legends, it's not the game developers providing the competitive scene, it's external organizations, esports organizations that provide that scene, is it not? Yeah, but they got in connection with those and they, they help broadcast the events I, I know, the top devs yeah. do commentary. So they're involved so, in a way. No, no, and no, it no. seems like Jagex is involved in, in that in a way, but it's not to the point where people can maintain a career off RuneScape. Right? You would think Manked Up Mage uh, with everything he's done esports wise, like that's he should he should be chilling. He should, oh yeah, dude, I'm 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 chilling, bro. I got all my money right here, bro. I'm gonna go play that tournament next next month and just wait. But that's not a lifestyle, bro. That's not a lifestyle for RuneScapers at the moment. We got to wait for someone to build that out. And but, honestly, it is yeah. on them at the moment to try to build that out with us because that'll give them more market share. But I, for them I think all, I, I don't, I don't think I don't think it is necessarily though. They're a game development company, not an events company. I know they've and they've tried, they've tried and that's been, right? they've like, done, and then um, in the past and it's been a disaster like so many times well, because they're, they're game yeah, developers was, trying to run events which is but it's not a game it's usually like two people they, they right? like Archie was doing demo mode mansions and he and he was trying his best but that you know they had some struggles there. Like it's usually like not, I don't know, man. I feel like they could do it. I, I think it's yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, events. of course they they need to hire. I feel like uh, they could. I feel like they could get there, but ultimately, it's going to take a third party realistically yeah. because Dudes. these guys like. Listen, if it, I mean, it's well, for for example, for, but for example, then you run into problems. So, say for example, Method came in to to try and do this, to try and be that third party, the esports organization, but from what I gather, there's way too much cheating that goes on. Um, yeah. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. And the, I don't. Really I don't think there's necessarily, necessarily that. I don't think there's necessarily that much money. I think a lot of esports organizations don't they run at a loss. I, I'm. I'm not really that much, that that up to, up to date with it at all. But I, I swear they operate at a it's, loss. It's it's a dream, you know. It's more of a dream thing, right? And it's like it's they, it's they like an hold. emerging it's an, it's an emerging industry sort of thing. So yeah, it is. Yeah. You need you need to find some sort of backers for like a third party from somewhere. Yeah. Or or you need to be. Or you need to go the EV scape style of like you are you already have that big platform and audience and you're gonna ho- you're gonna host something and then get like so, so yeah some of it does rely on Jag- the help you, you yeah some of it does rely on getting help from Jagex like EV scape getting a private world ex- for example Jagex could do better with those sort of things but I think it's on people to pitch good ideas to them and with with people with credibility uh, i don't know I, I just feel like it's not so simple as just blame jack x really oh, I, don't know, yeah, no, no, I, I think, think the they've done a lot of good stuff I like think the 1v1 5v5 20v20 yeah. tournaments you get listening on the calls major entertainment Deb and yeah, major yeah. entertainment bro i think a lot of the stuff they've done has been amazing like the 1v1 where uh what was it like uh, 10 30 what i can't think of his name and he hit redemption prayer twice on like 10 hp and one like that shit, there should have been a room of people watching that. Like RuneScape is so high auxiliary, esportish. Like every move counts, every mistake really matters. Momentum. I could see this being broadcasted. Uh, yeah. But where are they? Bring them steps. back. You know, make yeah, like. Yeah. Uh... But this is. I. I think. Listen. Just sitting here and listening to the conversation. There's truth in like what both of you are saying, and I think that like so what Solar Mission is effectively saying is true is that a lot of these big esport companies, like you look at Riot Games, Riot Games 
is the company that makes and develops League of Legends, but they partner with a third party um, esports associations who then do basically everything else. They certainly provide a certain level of service. Uh, I'm not entirely sure, but they do provide something. But you're right. It's not just left down to Riot Games to run the whole thing because that's not what they do. You're 100% correct. Dude, the people that work at Jagex that make the code for RuneScape don't have a clue about putting on a massive show in front of thousands of people. And I'm not saying they can't do it. I'm just saying it's not their jobs, right? Which is what you're saying, Solo. And at the same time, Mint, it's like Jagex probably should do a little bit more at the point they're in right now to try and reach out to those organizations and maybe build relationships with people that can do that for them and facilitate that. Um, but yeah, you know, like, I ain't gonna lie, dude. Like, things have almost just, like, dried up and disappeared due to the uh, the past two years and the, the word that we're not allowed to say here on YouTube. Um, but hey, with... What, what's that word? <laughs> hey, you know what that word is, mate. Don't make me cough at you. Well, what was it right with? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> But, like, here's the yeah. thing, here's the thing. Like, recently, you're right, Jagex have basically said, they've came out and said, look, you know, we're not going to do dead man mode. Uh, we don't know how long this is going to be for. I had to break the news to Solo Mission yesterday, and he was very upset. He was almost, um, he was in denial at first, and then no, I think I it kind of no, sunk I, in. I know, I know, what, <laughs> I, I know what's going to be going on with dead man mode. The, pro the problem with dead man mode is that you're never going to have a live final hour with mass participation ever again. Any sort of reason like that, that is done, because... It can just be hit offline, and there's there's nothing they can do to stop it. There's genuinely nothing they could do. May, I, I'm not technical. Maybe they could spend like they could probably chuck five million at the problem. It still wouldn't be fixed. Like, don't these yeah. things just get taken off all the time? They just get spammed with yeah. attacks. Or whatever. It, it happens. Yeah, you need yeah. land. You need land. That might be the biggest need, reason yeah, yeah. we don't have these events anymore. Honestly, it's not even like the community can like like we could try things, but yeah, until they somehow can get some Landing. stable servers running for for events bro it, it's it's quite but, but well, that's until they can fly people to a land that's really well that's what that's what they need to do that. that's what they need to do because yeah. like i'll tell you this like the cleanest the smoothest and cleanest event that they ever ran from my experience was when they did the pvp um all stars but that was because they had everybody flown in from across the world into one place and then it was like, okay, we're in one place. We only have to worry about protecting this spot instead of like fucking Ditter Bitter in New Zealand. It's like, that's on his end, right? It's like, this is their responsibility. And they actually did it. The only problem with it is, again, it was a little bit scuffed because, you know, we were there for like 10, 12 hours, all exhausted yeah, by the that, end of it. But that, that, you know. And that comes down to they're not an events company. Exactly. They, did, they didn't anticipate all those things going wrong. And like. Although I will say, yeah, you know. it wasn't actually ran by jagex that wasn't it was actually provided by the place where the event was held uh so it no, was that's, that's, that that's, that had nothing to do with the runtime right like they're, they're just like the guys doing the cameras and stuff like that like the the actual organization of the structure of the event that's all that was on jagex and that was a mismanaged that's a mismanagement through, through so like it it, it was no experience it, it was and it wasn't and you're correct uh because it was part and part it was the dude that owned the place and it was also jagex so you're, you're halfway there um, but yeah, I think it was also a fact that there was no experience doing it. So what they needed to do basically was just do it over two days. That would have made the event run a lot smoother. That that was the outcome. But hey, like you don't know. This is the first time they did that. So props to them for trying something new. And maybe they'll do something like that in the future. Yeah, I mean, I mean, they went through a fantastic period of experimentation from like 2016 to 2019, where they did PvP All Stars, they did Worldy Wars. They used to do clan cups. They used to do like skilling cups. Yeah, they did a lot um, of that stuff. They did dead man modes. They did, yeah, all all these things. And I think they've just got burnt on one too many of them. And now they just don't see it as, it's like, it's yeah. such a risk for them yeah. to do them because it's like, it's negative PR every single time they do one. And um, yeah, and, yeah and, 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 and also like, when you're really, when the mods are sitting there, are they really wanting to like, because they have to work weekends and stuff when they when they do these things. There's not any desire for them to do that, and that's why it has to be a third party, really. Like, yeah, yeah, it does. Not, it, it's not going to come from Jagex. I, I don't believe it. So anyway, let's start the I would, party. I would bro. love, I would love to be proved wrong. I would. That's one one of the main things I want from old school is a competitive scene, whether that's skilling, PVM, a mixture of everything, PVP, whatever. And I I will always go in for those things, and I would I would love it. And 
But then it's like, well, why don't I host them? And it's like, I don't want to host them. But then everyone's like, I don't want to host them. I want to do them. And yeah. you just end up at this fucking spot where no one, not no one's doing anything. Like we've got Scape doing some stuff, but... Yeah, yeah. Well, this is the, this is it, right? This is the start of it. Like, you're, you're 100% right. I think they probably have been burnt maybe once too many times, and it doesn't reflect very good on them, like, to be quite honest. And you're right. It's like the J-Mods are going out of their way. They're, they're spending 12, 15 hours being at these places, and there are things that are happening, like network attacks, that are completely outside of their control to people that aren't even there. So, yeah, it's an, it's an absolute nightmare for them. But here's the thing. Like we're seeing with EV Escapes Battle Royale, which I assume is coming out, I'm, I'm assuming over this Christmas period. Look out for that, boys. Put it on the calendar. Um, they're actually sponsoring officially with people now that have ideas and come forward, like EV Escape, which is amazing. That's great. It basically means that Jagex can be like, yeah, we're going to sponsor this event. They have to, you know, can't say racist things. They have to be, you know, a certain standard. But it, but if it goes wrong and they fuck it up, it's it's not our fault. It's like, well, pff, it's, it's kind of on you, bro. Which is, you know, but it's a good start. Yeah. I think it's a good start. I think it's a good place to come from. Uh, hopefully, with this happening, there might be tons of others. I'm pretty sure Oda Block uh, partnered with like some org called like was it G1? I, I'm not too sure. And I, I think they were talking about doing like a, a PVP tournament for a hundred thousand dollars or something like. This is Ooh. this is promising. It is, but you're totally right. It's like the blame can't completely be on Jagex. They definitely go out of their way, and they don't get enough credit for what they've done in the past for these events. Like you got to understand that most of these events that have happened in the past, I've been fortunate enough to be there for half of it, and I've literally seen the J mods who are there basically in their free time struggling, being the people that are at the brunt of like the rage and you know, from the community when it goes wrong. And, like, they genuinely can't do anything. It's like, it, you know, it's not even their jobs, really, to be running these events, yet they tried. But, yeah, I get you, man. Yeah, they, they just need... Well, the thing is, you know how, like, they have, like, the, the eSports role, right? It's just, like, obviously the devs, they're the, what they're good at is making new content, right? They're not, like, like Souls Missions pressed hard on... Um, you know, event event planners, right? What they really need is to actually start researching on how to actually make a role like that. You know, like someone that actually can, uh, you know, always consistently be with Jagex that looks for organizations to, you know, to do business with them, right? Because right now they th they don't seem to have one, right? So they're just like kind of thinking, oh, th th I think this could be a good uh, group to, you know, plan for us. But yeah. I think you need someone like an actual consultant that is a twenty-four. But here's you know, the thing: they really just work for Jagex. They, they did have you know that. I mean? They they fired her. She was the person. Well, that no, she wasn't good, good though. Yeah, no, no, offense, no I'm, not right? say, I'm, not saying, I'm not saying. I'm not saying. I'm not saying she was. I'm not I'm saying, saying she was. Needed, like, a, but I'm I'm saying like an actual team. team. I, I'm saying no, that they I'm they saying, yeah, they have sacked that position temporarily, probably due to the word we can't say again. So, mission, you up to date with this? You on board? You on the same page? Yeah, I know real team but, of that. Right? Yeah, that, but that's the thing. That's what I'm saying is that so. they've tried it, and again, it didn't work out. So, but like at the end of the day, it's like they don't. Well, need... like, no, I'm I'm not saying like you 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 try it once and then you give up, right? It's one of those things that if you really do want an yes. actual 100 esport ish thing, they actually need a dedicated team that they can actually yes, yes. you know for start start exactly. building upon. That's the yep. only way because. You can't have devs do it. They just they're exactly. too busy. They're already yeah, the, stressed out. A hundred, a hundred percent. They need that team. Wouldn't and they have their have... community manager right. to find, yeah, uh, you yeah. know, a third party to run these things now? And I, I know those guys are busy. Community managers are, are, are responsible for that. They're they're just responsible no. for like keeping. Not responsible. Like, wouldn't that fall under their wing though, compared to no. devs? It, dude, no, I think community? I think they need an actual team called like. No, I mean the community manager would set that team up. Like they would. No, find that team. No, 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 no. It would be like whoever the head, like human resources. Right. So, so, you know, so they would have to look for it. So at yeah. at Jagex, man, the way that it works is you've got your J mods, you've got your management J mods, right, and then above that you've got a dude that is more or less anonymous across Twitter. You don't really know who this person is. It's not like the secret dude, but he's not oh, the so. Chinese overlord. No, 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 no. He's not no, so. No, he's not. Group. He's not investors. so. He's not so publicly present, and he is the person. Who will directly talk to the board? And he basically. Dude, Fred? 
I don't know. He's the dude that will basically. Tip, right? you're, you're talking about you're talking about somebody who's going to have to convince the board that this would be a good thing for the business yeah. to basically have a new job role where it's like, okay, yeah. we're going to have that esports person back there or whatever it is, the event organizer, such and such. But it's like what my point is, and I'm trying to get to, is they had that and they sacked it off. And I'm saying that it'd probably be a little bit more difficult now for that to reoccur with the result yeah, of what happened to. the first time but yes they do need to that would be great that's, what, be that's what i'm saying because i like obviously they sacked it I, i'm aware of that it's just like no we're talking hypothetical right we're just saying like if we ever you know because so missions like oh yo look if they ever actually have this thing going on like i'd be down for it so I, i'm just saying the first big step that would need to happen is they actually have like a legitimate team that that works for jagex that actually can handle that stuff Right, that that can, that can pull these actual organizations in and actually properly do the the you know the work right to get it going, right? And until then, it's just not happening. Basically, you know. Yeah. I, until then, PvP I, th I think or whatever. Kinda, we we yeah. don't really know what goes on at JX though. Like ultimately, we don't yeah. really know. Yeah, we don't know. They like have this, this, the same with this individual which got let go from the yeah. head of esports. Like she could have been suggesting loads of stuff, but there might have just not been an appetite for anything at that time. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I, I feel like it's 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 so hard for us to tell. Like we just we can't really see what's going on. Maybe they are doing this sort of stuff. I I would be surprised if they weren't, to be honest. But yeah, maybe yeah. maybe there's just not not appetite for old school esports. Like people don't want to. Yeah, just as far as we know, right? As far as we know, yeah. I think there's an appetite. It's just as far as we know, right? From the surface level, they don't seem to have a like a like an actual team that that does this kind of function right it doesn't seem to exist so so yeah right now all Which you is got is wilderness like, and things like that that's kind of like we were team. talking about those other games right and we're like oh it's not their responsibility to throw these huge events but let's be real they want market share and i'm sure they would have developed some sort of team under them that would have not done the whole event but found the people right the do. partnerships yeah. right you gotta have those people that find the partnerships and organizations and that's kind of got to be like a, a goal for a game right and yeah, i think they yeah. had that goal like solo said and they definitely tried a lot and a lot of those were really fun attempts um and but who knows what their goal is going forward right we, i guess we well, just gotta yeah, find out like, like winter, right now what'd you call it solo winter summit yeah yeah, that's what's coming up with that announcing stuff. But I, I would yeah. be very surprised if there's anything competitive announced. But yeah, but there's yeah. there's another argument to be made that maybe they don't maybe they don't need this event shit. Like exactly. maybe yeah. it's fine. Yeah, yeah. Because like no, I, there's, I, not like, I, I there's not like there's not like Minecraft esports, is there? And it's like a massive game. It's not like yeah. a yeah. It, it, You're right, right. I think it's that's like, a very it's like point. create a driven thing. So Yeah. It's yeah. like does it actually need to go through all of this effort in order to turn a profit and survive? And to be honest with you, the way that it's gone so far, it seems like a lot of effort and not a lot of reward, right? So it's like, you got to put yourself in their shoes. It probably seems like, well, it's not really worth it. We could just, you know, just work on things in the game. Maybe do temporary game modes that aren't competitive and things just keep clogging on. Things are going well. Yeah. Like, do we really yeah. need At this the hassle? The, right? At the end of the day, this is just all food for thought, right? Because, like, you know, we've we've had this, like, you know, discussion in a more, like, oh, I really want it to happen. But nowadays, I'm just like, well, this is just all hypothetical. I don't really care if it happens or not anymore. I just yeah. know that this is what it would take, though, to get there. But, but like, for, for what's really happening, though, if it does feel like, like you know, as someone that does one of basically the most popular aspect of the game, we're just killing things, it seems like the board is more, hap more than happy to just let the J mods, the devs, just continue to focus more on the skilling and the PVM aspect of it. It's very clear as day. That that's kind of like the big focus nowadays, right? It's it's like the player mm. retention just comes from them focusing a lot of their time and effort on on making PVM things, right? And 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 of course that's kind of where the neglect comes from and all this pushing for more PvP and stuff. But like it's like they they already tried that a while ago and they're not doing it anymore. So nowadays it's definitely just heavy on the PVM. But maybe when we're so sick of PVM and we're so sick of scaling, they might revert back to focusing on other aspects of the game. Right, because yeah. yeah, that's probably what's gonna happen at some point. We'll see, right? Because well, you can only focus on one aspect so much, right? I feel like yeah. right now PVM is incredibly saturated throughout the the last few years. That even as a PVMer, I'm just like, you know, it'd be nice if we saw some other different patches of green, right, and other aspects of RuneScape, because that that's kind of like yeah. what I w I'm hoping to see is like more more space 
given to other focuses, but we'll see. Yeah. Yeah, you know, when I think of there, esports, I though, um, I don't even yeah. think of PvP. Honestly, like I know those those events they held, right? That didn't carry on, or maybe they were just quick lived or DDoS. That's not what I see as their success. I actually think that RuneScape wouldn't be dead, obviously, but they wouldn't be as as better off if leagues or Deadman mode never came into fruition at all. Like it almost feels as a content creator every three months for the last couple of years, I'd be like, you know there's not much to do on my end. I can go and have a fun time making a series and I know that's going to get views. I'll be able to support myself for those months guaranteed. Yep. And that's been such an awesome opportunity. Yep. And in turn, it almost feels like the marketing from those opportunities, I, I would say, or those non-permanent game modes, those esports, in my opinion, are keeping RuneScape not alive. It wouldn't be dead, but definitely more than where it would be if, if those didn't happen it's something to yeah look i think i think the failures are important because they let you learn from it and and you know right innovate so yeah a big part yeah. of it i i think yeah. as well i sorry you go ahead yeah, so. go for it solo oh uh, okay you um, go for it buddy it, it, they certainly do have to keep taking risks and one of the main i think one of the main threats is them just getting too complacent and just doing this cycle of quest New boss, yep. new raid, yeah, new yeah, class. Exactly. Oh, a league, a league that's slightly different. And it's mm -hmm. like things that have really captured new players have been when the leagues first came, that was very like, it's all innovative. brand new. And it's like completely, yeah, in, yeah in, innovative. Yeah. Same with Deadman mode and all these sort of things. New skill is going to be one that they're going to have to get in at some point because if yeah. they want the longevity of this game to be 20, 30 years, then. They've got, they've got to keep taking these risks. And I, I really hope they do. And that's one thing that slightly, not annoys me, but is when people complain about stuff like quest speed running, they're just taking, that's them taking a risk. Like, and it's not even that much dev time and stuff. You never know how these sort of things are going to pan out. And I, yeah. I, I welcome, I welcome things. Hey, like listen, that. man, I'll clown on their, their quest speed running all day long. <laughs> But like at the end of the day, I respect them for taking taking a chance. It's like, hey, it could have been wildly successful. And I, I don't know if you watched the previous podcast we did with Kirby, but I, I defended it in the sense of, look, quest speed running, questing as a whole is a very different thing to say PVM, right? And it's like, just because it didn't stick too well with the quest speed running side of things, it's like, doesn't mean that we can't apply speed running to other elements and parts of the game, PVM being a good example of that, where it could be widely more popular and it could incentivize people to even play more, right? Um, but yeah, I, I think, you know, I don't know. I, I think like everybody would have liked RuneScape and old school RuneScape to have been an esport and to have grown into this massive thing, especially when we look at other other games like league of legends there's, and there's a pressure you know yeah, yeah I, I think we all can agree that it would have been really nice but i think there is that massive overwhelming element of like well do we really need it for the game to succeed and do we really need it just period because the way i look at it is like i'm pretty happy with the game how it is right now i, I think as long as i've got a few like temporary game modes to look forward to every now and then like a few dead man modes fresh start worlds dare I say it, twisted fucking leagues, even though, you know, I might try to get into that. I, I think that these time-limited game modes are a safer bet, and people are engaged. It's yeah, it, it's like, this is clearly working a lot better than having to do the Deadman mode rerun v3, because, you know, the last two times everyone's got ddos at the end. It's like, this is just an easier way to do it. it. It's a clear, there's clear like profit. There's clear players that are invested in it and so forth. And content creators enjoy it. And it helps us as well. Because like you said, Rice, it's like it, it breaks up that monotonous grind instead of having to do the same thing day in and day out. It's like, you know, in a few months time, there's going to be a new game mode. I can make a series off of this. Like, like, like a good way to put it is I rather they, they like stop with these bs weekly quality of life stuff that all, all it does is make the game easier and easier and then just focusing on quality limited time events like you know game modes because i think those are those are things that last a long time and and and, and it's more quality right they do both I, th I think they do both though i don't think one yeah, I, don't, I think they do both but either. i yeah i i get it there's different you know like different people being responsible for different things but i feel like the quality of life stuff is just uh over overbearing uh, uh, like after many many years they just stack up too much and and it's almost unrecognizable anymore like why we even why we even have these things because all well, it does well, is make the game so much easier you bro know? what what so, i will what i, I will prefer, tell you i prefer like from a balancing standpoint i prefer they just put in more effort 
on their on their like game modes rather than all these weekly stuff that they do. So honestly, what, what like, I, I will, just didn't care about what, them. What are chipping on that? Something that I really, really have loved so much about Fresh Start Worlds. Like a reason why this game mode was so appealing to me was because hey, it's been probably like two or three years since I was like a med level again. I haven't played through med level content since way years ago. So it's been really refreshing, Fresh Start Worlds, of like going back through the content. And like seeing where they've like had these quality of life updates and like little tweaks and changes, even in some cases where there's massive like periods, like a void in content, which is now being filled. It's nice that that's there. Admittedly, there could definitely be more added. I, I think that I can speak for a lot of people here when I say, uh, you know, there's not a great deal of uh, mid tier or mid level content for, for bosses. Uh, for pvm and stuff it's like you've got the barrows you've got the dks you've got zora if you're good enough to do it but basically all of those bosses come down to the same thing which is the higher your stats are the easier and better a time you're gonna have it would be nice if there was you know a little bit more of that there but yeah just like running through the game again for the first time in like two to three years it's been a completely different experience for me this time than it was last time and i've loved that yeah so i really far. agree I really agree with that. And a lot of people like to trash on saying, oh, we've got another fishing boss coming out or whatever else. Yeah, but I don't mind those these, things. These, uh, these things add to the game's replayability yeah. massively. And it, yeah, yeah, no, they're, I don't they're mean, really important. I don't mean those things, but I mean quality of life. I mean like those little yeah, things. Yeah, yeah, no, like, right, I know. We not, like we're not, we're cut this arguing. down so it's like, you know, so you get like 5k XP an hour, that kind of stuff. I don't, we don't need those things. Like I'd rather they focus on... You know, like, because I was talking more from a balancing standpoint, right? Because I don't, I don't yeah. think those those are worth it in the in the long term balancing. Because all it does is degrade the game's, you know, old schoolness, right? I mean, I, like, I, I, focus on the servers. Folk, I mean, focus on new game modes. Actually, make new updates, right? Spend more time to focus on that stuff rather than like, I, you know. Yeah, like, I, I kind you know. of disagree with some things though, because a lot of quality yeah, of ahead. life, a lot of quality yeah. of life stuff has been looked down upon, and then years later, it's like. Well, why wouldn't I want to shift click this? Like, it's just, it's just like, <laughs> I don't, I don't know. We just come, we just like these last few years, I've, there are, I've there realized are, there are that a few, there are a few things that are silly, but I don't think there's anything. Yeah, yeah. I'm just, I'm really just saying we don't need, like the, yeah, I'm just saying we don't need as many that. as what, what we have now. Cause like, I don't know. I just feel like we're just kind of shifting like yeah. our our philosophy of old school to to really not so sustainable directions because like you know it's old well, school RuneScape, but it's very I soon know, not I... gonna be old school runescape because we're kind of like we're kind of like trying to do things too quick we're trying to be too efficient we're trying to take everything you know every mm. every advantage we can get every quality of life that that jagex may not even have realized is actually a big deal we'll take advantage of it you know we're not gonna fight against it we'll just say yes 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 every single time i yeah. feel like we've really kind of endangered our our you know our old the, the old school identity the uh, old traditions <laughs> i do yeah, no, it's i'm serious like, yeah, well, and well, I'm, like yeah. these last few years i've i've realized that like people are so <laughs> fucking efficient now that it's actually like scary i'm like are we even playing runescape anymore i don't even i don't even they're know they're so like, efficient they get efficient yeah, when that's, that's, you're not that's, efficient that's not... bro yeah, that's I mean, more. Chat. That's more of a reflection of just the player base. Though we've we've grown well, up. No, like, we're older I, now. I agree. Like, I agree. Understand I more agree. of these. Yeah, and, like, I, they, aspi I they aspire to the efficiency content. And but yeah, I don't, yeah. I, I, sorry, just to respond to what some of the stuff you were saying about quality of life yeah. things. I don't know if what I'm about to say yeah. is necessarily disagreeing with you, but mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, the way I see it is they've managed the game. In, I think Jagex have managed the game incredibly well. It's like ten years later, it's still really thriving. Um, mm -hmm. And I think they've they're moving it towards an over, the overarching view I have of old school RuneScape at the moment is it's moving towards almost not necessarily an idle game, but just like a more idle, more progression based sort of game. And everything which is not to do with that is kind of that is the that's the main thing that's going on and i think that's the that i think that is the correct thing to do to to grow the game out and like for it to be big because people are, are working from home they're playing it on their mobile etc cetera, etc cetera. like they're not it's not necessary like their main focus and i think the decline of pvp and pking is a direct result of that change of vision for the game and i think it's an essential change of vision as well 
What do you think about that? Do you, do you think we're um, gradually just getting more towards well, like okay, you know, like, and like so... idol and like uh -huh, think uh -huh. not as much folk not as much focus on like the super duper efficient stuff, but they they still they still give you like enough that you're satisfied with like grandmaster combat achievements and these sort of updates and a lot of the yeah. high end stuff comes from within the elite player bases to challenge themselves. It's not Jagex can't I don't know Jagex can't like. Uh, they can't put, uh, make the game around them and shit like that. Like, I don't know. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I, I just see a lot of people losing sight of what is going to keep the game alive for the longest. Like most people that play the game aren't like elite. They're just like average average people that just get off from work and play for an hour like yeah. two hours a week. But... I, I think that's something I struggle with personally. And I know this is like, I, I really sometimes struggle. And it's why I find it so valuable talking to new players and people that are trying to learn. Like... I, I kind of struggle sometimes to put myself in those shoes because like as a content creator i have a a bias where it's like you know it's like hey firstly i'm doing stuff that i think is interesting so for me being idle i wouldn't watch that so i'm not gonna do it right and then on the on the second hand of it, it it's like i also want to do stuff as fast and as efficient as i can just because i want to get these videos out at some point you know what i mean there's like there's a there's a time limit to it um but yeah, I, I mean, what I would like to know, I guess, is like, you, you say what's going to keep the the game alive. And I think what I would like to understand more is like the perspective that these players who are very casual have on the game and what it is exactly about the game they enjoy. Because they obviously enjoy, you know, high tier challenging content, which is why we're all content creators. You know, we do PK and we do high tier PVM or we do like super end game Iron Man, which is all stuff which is like extreme on the spectrum. So it's like, I, I, I don't know. I, I don't really know what they would want exactly and what would necess... I don't know what necessarily is best for the game's long-term growth is what I'll say. What do you think, Solomish? What do you think is the best thing? I think... Come on. I think, Get your neck out. Um, Let's hear it. So I, I think a lot of people like to watch the high-level stuff, right? Because you're living vicariously through somebody else. Like, people like to watch me blast through the entire game in three weeks because... Like they work at nine to five, they're they're never gonna do it. Like, yeah, they just get they just get to watch me, or they get to watch. They're like, oh, they're interested in Birth's Chunk Iron Man, and like they just get to watch the progress. Like they don't have to do it themselves. It's it's still interesting to them. It's it's the same as you watch like UFC or boxing because it's interesting to like see that, but you're not you don't go and start yeah. fucking beating you, people up. Do you? Don't necessarily <laughs> want to be the guy in the ring. Yeah, yeah, yeah and but for the, for most players, I think the thing that keeps them playing and um, what they want is tangible progress goals so things like achievement diaries that like you can that you can work towards and like make gradual progress towards so, like quests that's why quests are amazing because you can work towards your quest gate your achievement diaries i think combat diaries still have a way to go in getting there and i think part of the rework will help help them like become part of their like the, it's like that mid game isn't it where you, like there's there's things to do there's things to do but like you could run out it's like, if you've got a quest cave what what do people do from there a lot of i don't know a lot of the end game is quite pvm focused and i feel like it's a hard question yeah. mate because yeah. i i don't know the answer to uh, it either i i well, think you know, it, i think it's tom a... ask me the question tom ask me the question okay Mint. what what is it you think would keep the game alive long term what would give it longevity wilderness updates <laughs> There you go, bro. Yeah. Honestly, right. yeah, go ahead. I will say outside of Wildy <laughs> updates, though, if I'm going to answer this legitly, I think those non-permanent game modes are honestly the the secret savior of every long-term player, right? Not to throw the conversation back, but we do get excited when something new happens. We all go buy our bonds. We go strategize. We get in these groups. That's when clans are even more prevalent. I mean, let's, let's, there's no reason to join a clan unless there's a non-permanent game mode with a strategy, right? It's that's where the community comes together, dude. So I, I do think long term, mm -hmm. these non permanent game modes are really fire for RuneScape survival. Yeah, I definitely I, think I, it, it's good for existing players for sure. I think there's a massive danger in overdoing it though. Like Dead Man yeah. got overdone way too hard, and then by the end, like it's like there's not really that many people playing it and logging in per yeah. season. Not, not I mean, really. that makes me excited to see like where and, like, that's the why I happens. don't. That's so. For example, to bring another topic up, right? There's been a lot of talk, and right, you probably have a strong opinion on this. Uh, I don't know which way you'll be, but there's been a lot of talk about rerunning a league, 
Um, I am I'm so down. against that. I'm, I'm so down. against it because I feel like why fatigue people on this temporary content um, when you can just you just make something fresh? Like, oh yeah. my god, I, I I really don't want them to to yeah, rerun no, these. That's, that's... I think that would be really poor. A I, really okay. really poor. Decision. It depends what the other option is, though. Like, if they gave me both options, I would weigh it. Wait, I'd wait. be down for a rerun, but like if the other newer option is way better or more just overall new and, and exciting Boys, for sure. Are, are we? Like, I really like. Are, those are we talking an like identical rerun, like no changes? Maybe I think some pretty changes, much. Right? And, okay. and honestly, I, I, if if I am worried that they're going to announce that at the summit, I I I yeah, they shouldn't. New league, they shouldn't. Do that. If, if, if they're going to be like, it's going to be Trailblazer plus Zaya, I'm just going to be like, oh come on, you're like okay. dropping the ball. <laughs> so so all right, all right. So we kind of like went a little bit over, but like you know, your main question was like how. I guess the overall uh, the overall thing is you want want to know is kind of like what what is the my update philosophy? What kind of ratio are we looking at here, right? So like my overall point is throughout the years they do a lot of these like little small little changes to certain things that is completely not necessary i hate that stuff i wish they did much less of it i wish they focused more on actual quality updates like put more time on their new content actual new content put more time on their actual new game modes you know what i mean i don't mean like more content per se i mean like put take away all that nonsensical small little tidbits that they always pull Put that focus back into the game modes themselves that whenever they do make one, make it actually good, right? And when they make new content, make it actually good as best as they can. That's what I'm saying. I'd rather not see an oh, update for two weeks if the third week is going to be some actually good new content. I'd rather not see all, like content, random small little bits for weeks and weeks and weeks, and even months, if they release a really fucking good game mode. You get what I'm saying? Like... I rather they focus more on quality over quantity because I I I feel like a lot a lot lately they just do too much of this small nonsensical quantity stuff. It's just kind of frustrating because all these things we can't even quantify their effects over time because they all stack up right over the years and years, and you have no idea just how fast it it has pushed the game right because because updates are necessary, but I think it's also the pacing in which we do updates right like. Sometimes you you power creep too fast, you know, and then and then things get so so hard to maintain and balance, right? Like like you know, race three, like the rewards were too powerful and it's too common, and then they have to do all these balancing things. I feel like those things they should have already figured that out way before ahead of time, but they didn't, you know. I'm not sure w what's the cause of it, but like you know, you can see that there's a lot of these slippages lately that that they used to not have, but now they have, you know. They're having these like really simple issues that shouldn't be an issue coming into the game, but it but we have. So I just say look, like like what like what oh, though? Like give some examples. Uh like race three. I mean, there's still a huge issue with race three. Like you have these like super busted items coming to the game, and they're so common and so accessible that like, for example, pretty soon this staff that we have here, which is basically equal to a Tebow, if not more useful than a Tebow, it's gonna be like half the price of a Tebow pretty soon. And like, what's the point of getting a Tebow if you can just buy a shower for half the price? Like, this, the Tebow prices aren't going to hold because why would you even have that, right? And like, the same thing with the Fang when it first came out the first month. The, yeah, the first, like, the first three weeks. It was so broken that it basically crashed all of the endgame melee weapons. In like, you know, without, like, without a doubt, it happened, right? It was so and good. They had to, they had to <laughs> I miss it. I miss it, bro. Literally try to, you know, scamper to try to save it. But that's not even like the 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 only issue, I, right? I, I just, think uh, the thing is with race so three. Things. I think it's I think it's yeah. just a reflection of how many people are doing the content, though. Like there's yeah, that, no, I, I get that, but like reasons. the balancing was horrible because they they basically let people do practice versions of end game content get end game drops, right? It's like oh, let's make practice top give you scythe. Yeah, it's the I, same I, pro you I, I mean? thought, it's, I it's thought that huge, was silly. I, I don't think they simple, should have allowed that. Like it's just such a simple like fundamental issue that they they literally allowed. To happen so and it's still causing havoc so to the, 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 know, the to one the, thing prices, what, so. what i will say is i i don't necessarily see there being a correlation between there being uh qa 
updates and then those things but if you're saying that they'd have more time to work on the balance inside of things, yeah no that i'm just saying they, they just need to focus more on the updates that matter right rather than like all these little tidbits to give us yeah. temporary okay. dopamine that don't matter right yeah you know what i'm saying i, I understand that, that all it does I, 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 I don't, yeah but then that, 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 like so. your opinion of balancing is just an opinion though i i think race sure is well sure sure, sure. Like, sure i mean you can agree and disagree that's the whole point right i think i don't i don't think any of what we say here is necessarily objective but i'm just saying that uh, like from because like you know it's either you agree with my opinion or not right but i'm just trying to base it off of what makes a good rpg because this game is an rpg right what makes good progression it doesn't make sense for example to to advertise race three as 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 like you know because it's race three it's a rate right it's where you get the strongest items in the game and objectively these are the strongest items in the game right like all seven purples are so influentially powerful that it makes no sense why you should do practice versions of the content, which effectively allows 10, 20 times the amount of people participating to get all these purples, right? Like, why is the ring, the, the light bearer ring, which is arguably so much more powerful and broken than all these other rings that exist, literally only like eight mil in three weeks? That is for crazy. Example. You get, yeah, you get what I'm saying? Crazy. Like, why is the most powerful range set, which is arguably more influential than even Torva, because it also gives accuracy on top of strength, only a third of the price of full Torva? Right? Why is the Shadow only three weeks in more powerful than the Tebow versatility wise? Only less than less than the price of the Tebow already. You know Man, what I mean? Like we the need... Tebow in today's like think about it this way, right? If you didn't account for inflation, right? The Tebow when it was a bill at the time that it was, it's more like four bill probably in today's time. Yeah. Yet the Shadow is literally like nine hundred mil and, and going down or something in, in less than like three weeks. I'm just saying, like, uh, you can, you know, it's my opinion, but I think these are some pretty, you know, like, there's some there's issues, some pretty there. damning things yeah. out here that like, you, you should be able to. Yeah, like, but then, okay, but then you, you yeah, then you yeah, get into the, you get into so. the mess of nightmare where you're just making things incredibly rare to try and. Oh, up oh, the value, oh no, I, I, I agree. I agree. I think there's literally, that's the whole point is that, that there's a middle somewhere that they completely missed. Right. You got what I'm saying? They, they just completely well, it's, missed so, it. They so just it's, it's your it solution <laughs> that the one 150 say you can't get you can't get purples below 150 and 150 just needs to be like the bar needs to be raised is that what is that what you're saying yeah like like for example like for example um just effectively removing purples from like basically anything under 300 would 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 effectively make these items a lot more you know the supply would just not be there anymore right it would be a lot more limited supply which we would reflect the power of these weapons, right? Right now, I, the, I, the, the commonality of it does not reflect how strong these things are at all. I, right? I, I honest, I, I actually disagree, disagree with that. With I, you I, can disagree I, with that. I, I, that, I think, like, I think if yeah, you moved all the items to three hundred, people yeah. would just get good enough to do three hundred, and then they'd. That's, that's, oh, that's absolutely fine because there's a filter, right? If okay, you but, reach but, that but, point, yeah, but yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, but no, but now, right? but now what? But now what? What you're then, then the, the items are much are more stable. That's the that's the point. No, 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 they're that not. The they're, they're the same because all these little children. No, no, they no but they're, 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 they're children. Yeah, they are. They are. Children. No children. No children. No slow down. Slow down. Listen, that's that's that definitely is not true because boys, listen. One sec. Listen. First things first. We really needed some motivational music in the background yeah. of what you're saying there yeah, really because yeah, yeah. that shit was touching <laughs> listen yeah I, yeah I i do think that if they were to make it 300 for all items i think a lot of people wouldn't get there personally i think you overestimate oh, not. i think you overestimate absolutely how not. good people are they definitely wouldn't all get there but i think that there is i think it's fair to say that the balancing isn't perfect and and i completely near. i completely near. agree you shouldn't be able to get anything in a practice mode, I I thought that was silly. From I mean, day you get one. the rune pouch and you get the character, yeah, you, stuff, which is already you, you great. Can get, and the, you can and get the that. And the normal that that's loot, right? that's fine, so. but you shouldn't be able to get the items. And maybe what they could do, um, you know, it, it's like yeah, I, I feel like it does need a little bit of balance in there. But I I do think if they made all of the items three hundred, I think that would be a bit too harsh. And I think that you know, I mean, th honestly, there's a balance to be here. It's not that hard, in, in you know, what I mean, in comparison to like trying to get into a normal top or trying to learn how to solo cost because the 300 you can solo it yeah. so if you are that determined to practice until you get there then you will get there right dude. you don't need teammates i i right. what about I, this, I, dude? Oh. What about this uh -huh. bro all right yeah everything gives items but if you're not above 300 and you die your account gets deleted 
<laughs> okay, well, the, here, here's another supporting evidence, right? No so, one ever likes my so, account deletion so, so ideas, dude. I'll give you, I'll give you an example, right? So, like, so obviously TOA has way more completions, right? Because you, you know, you can scale it to whatever you like. So, what was it like? The in the first two weeks, there was almost enough completions at TOA to almost surpass TOB, even though TOB has been out for four years. So, so that's kind of like how crazy the supplies are yeah. coming to the game, just because you allow people to get purples at such low levels. Because, like, essentially, a majority of those completions are all pre, you know, pre three hundreds. Right? Yeah, yeah. And to this day, that's still the case. Most completions are pre three hundreds. I the, so, the, 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 the so problem. I know you're saying that three hundred is not hard enough or something that like everybody can just push up there, but that's simply not true. There's no way that that like the same amount of people will reach 300s you know if, if you change yeah. the purple 300 like it would increase certainly but it would it would be a massive like the higher you go like it's like it's like a you know it's like an exponential thing right because like the lower you go the exponentially higher the amount of completions right but the but when the level gets higher and higher it the it exponential it's exponentially less people getting into it that's yeah. that's kind of like how okay, it right. goes so exponentially the you know the purples yeah. would you know would, would but, simply but be a lot less. The so. thing, is, the thing is, though, there's there's yeah. five million tops, right? There's already one point four million three hundreds. <laughs> so, okay, so where, that's, where, that's, where do you go in a year yeah. when there's fourteen million three hundreds? Well, no, because like, because the thing is, is is how fast things the, go, the, right? The, We're not. Yeah, yeah. yeah the the the, the, only, the only reason, right? The the only differences between the the previous raids and this raid is the, the soloness. Yeah, yeah, accessibility. This, yeah, this, yeah, it's it's literally soloing. Is is like the main yeah. change. Yeah, no, I, and I, like, I I understand that but like i'm just saying that would be one big step though that that would be needed in order to and you'll always i i just think you'll always be plagued well plagued by this accessibility issue of being able to solo well uh, no, and i there, think I mean, the, sol the solos will get to 300 i think like if you raise it they'll, they'll just go after it and like the, the main reason people don't do top is because you can't find a team that is and that is like yeah sure sure but i agree with that longest barrier and it's the same for cox as well yeah. 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 But like, I, the the point isn't isn't that this one thing that I suggest is gonna completely you know fix it. That's not really the point. It's just that we need to slow down. Like we need to slow it down so that so that if Jagex wants to go a bit further, yeah, you know I mean to like you know even make it more rare in general or something, they can. But but the point is right now the way it is, it's 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 the rate of of which it is going supply wise. It is so fast that. If you don't slow it down anytime soon, you're not going to have any time to actually fix it anymore, you know? Because, like, you only have, like, it's only been a few months, but the, the damage is already so crazy, right? So, like, you at least need to slow it down. Because I'm just trying to think from a balancing standpoint what I could do to slow it down so you can have time to think about, like, you know, like, what, what real, like, more controversial things that you would have to do. Because right now, what I'm suggesting is not that controversial at all, right? It's just simply move purples to a level that's more you know uh, like you know matching end game right because it's end game items but it's not i'm not saying it is the solution though the, the the real solution would be you know like effectively probably just making things a lot more rare but again i i uh, if i was a conacher if i was a developer i would i would be really scared to do that like i wouldn't be as scared to just move things up right move purples up because at least it'll slow it down massively you know, and give and give time for the yeah, prices I, to like. I still the, don't the, think it will, though. The I, don't, thing I is, really don't think it would. They, they see. Why, why they, would it not? It's it's just simply because, would because slow people down just the get supply. good enough to do three hundreds. Like, I, I get that, but the, it'll be a lot less. There's so yeah, much. I don't there's like, it's why... easy to train and get better. Yeah, but I don't I don't know why you you don't why you don't understand that like it would just be massively less people being able to do it. So you know, it was no 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 no. Like yeah, for so, a week until people like just started running three hundreds. Yeah, yeah, but like more people would would learn three hundreds, but it but it would effectively stop more overall supply of of the items coming to the game by a by a huge. Yeah, it, it it would. I, I I disagree that it would be huge, but like it it would it would reduce the supply. Yes, yes, I agree. Yeah, I think that in itself would would definitely affect the prices. It would stop me from getting positive, purples for you know? sure. You know what I mean? Like. <laughs> Like I, I get it. I just think the the rate would be significant enough, though. You know, because a majority of the completions are still all sub three hundred, and and oh, it, then, even okay. if, like I said, if more people do it, that's okay because a bunch of these other people would have to slow down, right? Would effectively have to slow down their progress. It will hold them uh, and it would take a lot longer. The thing, the right? thing is, I don't, I don't see that the content, the content is incredibly popular, and that's going to be the same. Sure, sure. No map that that will only. 
eventually it will be self-regulating when it's less than like four mil an hour. And eventually it will be self-regulating just like Cox becomes self-regulating and Tob and all the rest of them when they become like, okay, I can feasibly do something else to get, to get the money. It's not, it's never, it's never going to get to the point where it's like farmed. to like Missouri is literally three mil. Oh, well, I'm not saying three mil, but the fact that three, the Missouri is only like 300 mil already, it's already so bad, you know, as is. So I, yeah, I but think is it, I, is, it, is, it a, is it a, is it a massive problem that ancestral is 100 mil? No, but the the thing is, is that freaking race three, race one's been out for like seven years, six okay, years. Okay, 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 okay. But like three, three, yeah. three months after race one comes out, is it a problem that ancestral's only like one fifty mil? It wasn't like five. I don't mil. think that I don't think ancestral was was one fifty mil though in in three weeks. No, no, nowhere close to that. It probably wasn't three. Okay, well, it was what, probably what, what, three what, months or something. What about rigor yeah, I mean, and augury? They were fuck all, and they're incredibly powerful. Well, I mean, like, those those were way too common. I never agree with them because it, it used to be called the prayer score, right? It was five hundred mil, and I thought that was pretty balanced for how strong they were. To be fair, so yeah. I never agree with that, you know. To be fair, and that's why the decks and and rigor is so cheap. I mean, augury is so so cheap. Like it shouldn't be that cheap. But hey, look, I'm not the one making the drop rates, right? So. I'm just saying, like these these items right now, they're they're just going down way, way, way too fast. Like it's just they are just they are they, 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 they are they are very they are very cheap. There's no like yeah, it's just not that. sustainable. So it's just here's like, the... at least with rates one and two, sure you have this idea that like it'll self regulate over time, but it just literally took them years and years to get there, which is great because you have a lot of time to. Yeah, but like, is, is, the thing is, when, is there is there is there a pro is there a problem in raids three getting to that self regulating point of six mil an hour faster? Is, yes, is there it is an because problem you 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 do have yes there is because psychologically as 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 a group of players they are incredibly concerned and it really causes because like, like, I get this all the time people always ask me why are things crashing so fast like I don't know if my bank's gonna be worth it like it's just always this fear and it's a terrible feeling like. Like for for like a just culture, crying you know, at this twenty bill bank. Base. Oh, dude, how bad yeah, are you no, feeling I'm right just, now? I'm just, just saying when things, and bonds and when shit. things like prices are so destabilizing so fast, it causes insane panic, and it's just like the whole integrity <laughs> of this game takes a hit, you know. So yeah, this is so, a this is a poli sure. political issue. I don't think you should. I don't know. The I don't, maybe I it's a political issue, but, <laughs> but like you know, I don't know. But it's just as someone that talks to these players all the time, like on a daily give, basis. Give the RuneScape like, players a stimulus check, boys. Yeah, no, it's it's, it's just they, they, it's just, they, it's, just, it's, just, it's just too fast paced. I don't know. If you don't see it as a concern, that's that's fine. But like, I I genuinely see it as like a an act, a real concern. So yeah, that's no, pretty much it. Dude, I agree I, to disagree. You know, like what can I do? Yeah. All right. I think I think there's I've fair points. The table, there's so. fair points on both sides, to be honest with you. But like at the so end, of so your the, your problem is the main the main problem is the rate the rate of the approaching equilibrium of like six mil. Yeah, hour. that's your that's your problem. Oh, well, I mean that's okay. essentially if you want to like really you know. But then but then but then, you, but then you just jack up the drop rates and then you're just like extending the issue and you're slowing the curve and that's what you want. Yeah, do. that's good. That's good because more time, like the slower the change, the better because it gives people time to really settle down on what they're doing, right? And okay. and it it just gives you breathing room for for a different. You know what I mean? Because like right now, if these if this big piece of content that's supposed to hold for years and years is already not holding in in like less than a month. We do have a problem because then people are gonna be like, "What? You know, what's this? Why? Why we waited this many years for race three when these items are already so cheap for you know for how you know what I mean for how good they are, right? That's yeah. kind of like the thing, right? It's it's like it's about it's about pacing yourself enough time. Sure, like right? you're thinking you're you're economical. You're thinking about the economics of like yes, eventually it'll, it'll get to a point where it'll just match everything else and people will do other stuff. But the, the but the thing is, you want you want that to take a long time. So that yeah. so that people can actually see value and purpose in why this, these you know JMods spent all this time making this content, but right now you don't really. A lot of people don't see the value. They're all just very so, very disappointed. Dude, let me let me interrupt in real quick. Rate, let me interrupt right, right? For, for the price value. So so here's the thing, right? I, I think that there's a lot of uh, you know there's a lot of genuine concern and good points that you're bringing up, but from Jagex's yeah. perspective, I don't think they necessarily care like solar missions basically saying about what the price or dp per hour is of these items it's more to do with 
how many people are engaging with the content like from their point of sure, view sure it, it, i you know, i totally understand that yeah you could clearly tell that's one of their you know core focuses right yeah so sure. i i think that what you're saying is that you want to find a, a better middle ground where it's like it doesn't necessarily punish that and i completely am with you on the point of like making it so you know if you're going to pull pull the staff it's like you want that staff to be pulled on something which is the equivalent difficulty of saying doing something al along the lines of like a tob like that seems relatively fair to me but i think you do run into the issue of jagex just see the update as a massive w because it's doing so well and so many people are engaging in the content and you know the thing is it's like yeah people have complained about their banks going down on items for, since day one like that's nothing new and um it's yeah no it's not just that it's just the idea that like this this is basically the the main showcase right that you're gonna this is gonna be the star of pvm right our core pvm content for the next few years there won't be another rates for however many years right like the thing with race one two the the fact that you know it held for that long it was able to keep people at bay for that long right but it's not gonna race three is not yeah. gonna there's but, no but, but, way yeah, but there was, but, 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 yeah, wait, 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 both of you no. both of you have no had way. a lot of air time but yeah that's ahead, because that's because the old raids weren't as accessible as this content and like i said jagex are gonna yeah. see that as a dub they're obviously gonna continue putting well, content uh, into the game soon they're, they're they won't soon they won't like because they're looking for very very temporary dubs when they should be looking at long-term dubs you know like that should be yeah. their focus but which but is a concern for not. sure yeah, yeah for sure that's a massive not. concern like you like all of us have an incentive here for the game to hopefully live as long as you know we do that would be great right because then we wouldn't be out of work wouldn't have to go and work at tesco's again <laughs> yeah, wouldn't yeah. have to go to kfc with my boy solo mission it's like that would be great yeah. but but yeah oh, at, at the same time like from their point of view i imagine it's like all right yeah this might not be amazing but we've never actually had this situation either but more people are participating yeah. in the content, more people are enjoying the game, and it's like that, from a lot of perspectives, is a good thing. And I imagine they see it as a good thing, right? But I, I agree, I think they probably I could... I can still have that. That's the that's kind of like the whole point, right? It's like, I'm not saying you can't do low levels and, and have but, practice but and, and th still be rewarded, This is, right? this is the reality, though, I will say this. Yeah. The, the second that you make it difficult for people, if you make it harder for people to get the things they were getting, from an update basically they're nerfing your money maker as soon as you do that yeah, yeah. people that's why i said jack is fucked up <laughs> people will disengage with that content so you are technically right like, yeah like it's the longer they leave it the harder it is to do that and um you know the... neither of you are fucking wrong you guys just need to kiss make up you know shake hands do all that no, stuff I, yeah know? i'm just i'm just saying it's, it's like, a difficult it's conversation just, it's yeah, complex and we, we weren't even planning on talking about this so it's just yeah. like yeah settle it in the ring bro all right let's do it <laughs> i'm down what yo sure, rice what, what happens yeah, if yeah. they tracked all the purples and the more purples in the game the higher you'd have to have your thing to get purples you know so like over time that shit just keeps going up you're just, making you're just making new account. You're just making new account. No, I mean, like, well, overall. Yeah, I'm, I'm, just seeing, like, like, I'm truly seeing oh, the long term here, you know? I'm talking I'm overall, dude. Like, yeah. it tracks every item. And then, like, once oh. it hits a threshold, it's like, all right, now you have to be this good. I feel like interactive mm. PVM would be cool. Yeah. I'm not a PVMer. I'm just watching from the sidelines, but. Be fun I don't to know. Have it, some just, sort it just seems like, like, like you know, it just seems like with Race 3, like, because uh, I've had pretty good. Uh, you know, like kind of like my like like you know, I'll I'll like evaluate personally how I see Jagex doing in terms of their updates and all that. You know what I mean? And like it was good for a while. It was good for a while. I just feel like these last like two like year year or so, especially with race three, they've really proven to me that they're looking for a quick buck rather than the long term hole. You know, that's what it feels like right now. And I I don't know. It's just usually when I have this kind of feeling, it it does kind of like manifest in some way in the in the you know in the community right cuz yeah it's just it's just like i i i'm really about the long term of creating of this game right like i i still remember old school coming out fresh you know fresh like it was yesterday and i understand why it you know what was the cause what led to it and like what were the things that we really cared about that that allowed us allowed this game to come back right i feel like we're really treading on kind of like forgetting I don't like the core things that makes this game memorable and important and, and all that good stuff, you know? It's just like, I, it's just like, it's hitting me. Like this last year, it feels like it's not doing that. It's like kind of really going against it more, more than it is going yeah. with that philosophy, you know? So 
something like race three you know it's just it felt like it, it's like it's it's not and it's not like that it's not like that end game content like sure the rewards are it's just like the way they treat the content and and all that it just doesn't seem like it anymore you know i think it's so, yeah, you know it's time, time will tell with this it like we could sit here all day but i i think yeah. it's ultimately it's gonna come down to we'll just see what happens you know yeah yeah i i, I just I, I just feel you know i just don't feel too positive about the way the directions going with that stuff so nah, we're good bro yeah. you've got people on twitter crying <laughs> that there's way there's way too many people on the servers that they can't fucking click like i think we're okay for now yeah no, i mean the player base is fine that's that's fine you know that's sure but yeah i'm just thinking like long long term but yeah yeah anyways yeah, that's, that's about fair it. right on that listen boys i i think we've covered most things <laughs> we've been, all over the place. <laughs> we've been yeah. going for two and a half hours this is uh this is a long boy Solo mission. Are, is there anything else you would like to talk about, mate? You got anything on your mind? Anything on your chest? Anything I would say, you're itching to get off? Thanks for having me on. It's been a pleasure. I'm sorry if I talked over anyone. I like and all that sort of stuff. Hey, don't be no, sorry. We, we, we should say It's, just, we should say it's that a nice, instead. nice bit of conversation. I would say, rice. Shout out to Rice Cup and his family for letting me come. And a little mm -hmm. behind the scenes here. I actually filmed Gilano Games episode one on Rice Cup's PC. Which was a struggle considering he's four foot eleven and I'm six foot ten. <laughs> man, man, man had to crouch down on that shit, you know. So that, that, was, that, that, was, that was really that was really nice of him. Shout out to Rice and Thank seeing Rick see in somebody was very nice. And I hope to see you soon in real life, man, at RuneFest 2023. Let's make One day, dude, I'll come claim that shirt. <laughs> yeah, I'm confirmed now. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna have to print a shirt out for Mint. We'll just well, we can just pretend that they made him one. That's sad. That's what we I need. come That's in with a fucking shirt. Runescape shirt has Mint Man Cow and Sharpie on the back, dude. Just... <laughs> yeah, we'll sort you out, man. Uh, we'll sort you out. Right. Anyways, wait. Mr. Mission, we'll link all of your your goodies, your socials down below, mate. It was a pleasure having you on. Thank you for your time. Uh, and yeah, did you want us to PayPal you after this, or you know, how how did you? Yeah, my rate of one k an hour is my. One K? Oh, oh, bro. <laughs> Dude, I don't even know if you've made that from this channel's uh, life yet, man. Get out my savings account real quick. <laughs> All right, dude. Thank you for coming by, mate. Bye.